The throne is empty, but not for long. Your god has arrived. I'm finally playing the role that I was born to play, and that is overarching, omnipotent, all-seeing god of your universe. And by your universe... I just mean Dimitri, George, and Michaela in D and D. So it's not as you know what? No, it is as important as it sounds. Shut up! I'm the most important person in the in this room right now. I'm home alone. Anyway, I don't have. See, okay, here's the problem. Here's the problem that I'm having is Dimitri would do really cool things. Uh, to open his D&D campaign videos. I am unsure how to pull that off. So this first one, I'll, I'll do one of these at the beginning of each each of them, I think, to kind of recap the last one. Because I like that. I like how he's doing things. Now, this is going to be a big video, I mean, but you knew that already. You clicked on it. The editing style might change between the videos because I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this yet. Um... And I'm hoping the music that I used in the table that you saw in the We Built a D&D Room video, I'm hoping that the music in that carries over to this so I don't have to add music here because I don't want to have double music and then have it kind of clash. Then we had a ceiling fan on and you can kind of hear like the... I don't know if this stopped that from happening, but like the little like... Whoosh, you know what I'm talking about, like a little bit of a wind. It's not very strong, but it is kind of constant. Uh, we haven't at this... at the. The, this, when I'm filming this, we haven't filmed episode two of Theros yet, but we're thinking of doing that within the next couple of days, sometime this week. Um, so I'm going to see, I'm going to fix that beforehand. Um, just letting you know, that's a constant thing, but the story of this has gotten an epic beginning with Michaela playing... <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I want to, I might just give the names, I don't think I want to describe them to you. Uh, you know what, no, sorry, you know Michaela's name is, I'm invested in her character, we were actually just talking about this morning, which is why that's on the mind, I'm actually not going to say anything else, I might even censor that, who knows. Uh, but I am taking them on a journey through the world of Theros, the Magic the Gathering setting, which, if... If you know anything about our D&D stuff, uh, you know that my D &D, my main D&D &D character with them is named Drathan. He's a pirate lord. Dimitri made me a Magic the Gathering proxy of Drathan. Oh my god, that looks so bad. There we go. Drathan, lord of pirates. He's uh, Admirable Beckett Brass. I'm getting off track, because that's what I do. Um, I'm the DM. Not Dimitri. I'm the best. It's been three minutes. I'm going to let you go. Go ahead. Enjoy. Let me know in the comments what you think and, and, and guess some plot twists. I don't really think you're going to be able to because we're still session zero, but here we go. So, George. Yes. You have been sent to this town. This right here is the whole map of Theros. I want to be that one. <laughs> no. Out of this whole map, there's this little coastal town right in here. Is this how it feels all the time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right there. That's a great resolution, that actually. Is, that's a beautiful map. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. I prepare. Oxus. Oxus has been having some strange problems lately. They weren't really explained. Such you as? didn't really listen, George. Because you heard that this town needs some help. Your first question was... Can I die here? Can I die <laughs> here? Can I with honor? Will, will there be fighting? The answer was yes. You left before hearing about payment. Or anything else. Or anything else. I'm so you know nothing about what's going on in Oxus. You just know that something 
Something can kill me here. Finally. <laughs> Something can finally kill you. Oopsie. Wrong button. No! Kill Good music. Job. I killed all eight tabs of music! <laughs> all of a sudden I take oh. I take one step onto the docks of Oxus. And, you go and I <laughs> no, and I just disintegrate into ash. <laughs> okay. So I got one back and I have to reclaim all of the others. Okay. You can go to your history for that, right? Yeah. Okay, so... So you are making your way... Downtown? Downtown. Am I arriving on boat or by foot? On foot. Okay. You are coming in from the north, which is closer to you in the... In relation to table. Yes. Um... So, is there anything specific you may or may not be doing while you're heading to Oxus? Um, I believe about now is when he would start thinking, um, if something needs to be fought, chances are, um, a town like this, how big is Oxus? Oxus is not very large. Oxus okay, so he's, he's walking to Oxus, looking at it, um, he's thinking like, a town like this. Most likely some form of goblin attack. This is why I gather the details before I leave. But uh, he just sighs and continues walking because he's on the job. It's, it's got to get done. It's got to get so done. So he, he walks into the general vicinity of Oxus. Okay. So you start, you get, you get close to Oxus. You're almost like on the outskirts. It's about midday, maybe three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Um, as you enter Oxus, it almost seems like there is a, uh, a dreary feel to the air. A lot of people aren't as jovial as a small town normally is. Usually everyone... Everyone, you know, knows, knows each other. <laughs> Everyone's saying, hey, look, it's you. Hey, how's your kid? How's, how's, your the, uncle? how's the wife? How's the wife? Is your kid still dead? Weird things like that. Uh, Not a weird question, all things considered. No, because you are, in fact, a walking abomination. But no one knows it yet. But right. no one knows <laughs> I'd it. I'd like to believe I wear very thick gloves so I can still grip things. That's fine. I have so no problem with that. I, I walk into town. He, I'm, he's not unhappy, but he's 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 definitely disappointed. He he's like I let my I, I got too excited about this job. I thought it'd be something great, but it's just a small town, and it's probably not even that that good of a fight. So he's. Head kind of down, hands in his pockets, just walking. Um, I have a plus one in intelligence. That's higher than average. I assume my character would be like, well, I should probably try to find some type of important building sure. to, to find out where I got to go. So, well, what are my man, options, Sam? You have all of the options in the world. Is this world is your sandbox? I want to go to my grave. <laughs> Walks wow. all the way back. <laughs> this is way worth it. where he died the one time. Clearly still awake because he doesn't need to breathe, eat, or sleep. I'm <laughs> just laying there. That could be a terrifying encounter in D and B. What? Uh, just burying army, zombies? No, an army of reborn laying on the ground. Then when your party walks over, they all sit up. Oh, good. That'd be terrifying. Stealing so, that. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely stealing that. Yeah, but um. He's walking. Um, I'm assuming there's some type of uh, mayor's office of some kind, some type of official's okay. building. I'm pulling up Oxus right now. Oh, do you have a map for Oxus? Of course I do. Oh, my goodness, you have a map for Oxus. You have a map. I do. Not I a very big map. I have tokens. Yeah. Um, hold on. Um, I don't have dice. Uh, we're just going to go. You want dice? You can have dice. Well, because well, I'm going to need dice. But, want... but, I, but I wanted one to like represent me. Chunky? Oh, wait. Don't you have a dire D20 in there? Okay. That plus there. Yo, is that Kirby Malfoy? Yeah, actually. So which one of those speaks hey. to you, George? Um, I don't know. Let's draw my Kayla's dice. I don't want to take those because they're hers. I use these ones primarily. Those are just extras. Give me the darkest ones. Oh, the my, my very ones. first purchase. The D&D. very first D&D D&D purchase D&D ever. Nefarious guys. <laughs> so you These are for my character who is now a god. <laughs> oh yeah, Zyrathin did become yes. a god too. Uh, obviously she's retired. <laughs> so retired from godding. 
Yeah. Um, okay, so eh. my boy Uvaris is going to. Um, this building looks pretty important here. It's in the center ish of town, looks pretty large. He's going to head there. Okay. So you head on in. Some people are kind of looking at you. Would you like to describe yourself physically? Um, so, Uvaris. You would assume Minotaur have black skin or maybe brown skin, depending on the fur. This guy's looking and not so healthy, like dark green. Ew. If you took just green and black and just paint gun, like mix them together, that's this guy. His horns are only about a foot and a half long, so they're not super big. Um, You're in a small town now. I'm changing the music because I... That's one. Can, but the um, you can tell something's not quite right with him. But unless he told you or you really spent some time looking at him, you probably couldn't place what. And even if you could figure it out, your brain would be like, "No, that's there's no way." How tall are you? It's seven and a half feet tall. Okay, so you are definitely getting. Some He's stairs. tall. He's a large boy. This, the population... Oh, wait, he, they stare at me? They're, I mean, they're not staring, but, but the population... Like, that's no. <laughs> yeah, the population of Oxus is under 300. They've definitely never seen this They are before. 95% all humans. Oh. So when a giant greenish gray minotaur walks into town, people start to talk about it. I'm just going to look... I'm going to just slowly look over to one of the groups... And he's just going to give a, a small wave. Like, he, it, it, to us, it looks like he just raises his hand and then lowers it. You can see the smallest back and forth motion, if you're perceptive. <laughs> and then he puts his hand down you know what? and just looks back to the building. I have the Commodore stat block memorized at this point. I'm going to see how perceptive they are. They don't notice the wave. So he just raises his hand and just puts it down. And he goes back to the building. He walks up to the door and knocks on it. <clears throat> and knocks so, on it. Doom, doom, doom. So. And then he takes a step back and <clears throat> just waits. You have chosen the building where, I wouldn't even say mayor. The leader of the town. The leader of the town. Uh, there are two voices behind the door that were talking as you approached. And after you knock, continue to speak. I'm going to give it a second. Maybe they're just saying, like, hold on, give me a second, and then they go to the door. I'm going to give it, like, ten seconds. The voices continue. I'm going to knock a bit more forcefully this time. Doom, doom, doom. Okay. I'm just going to, let's see if they open now. <laughs> so... Still, yeah. you've been spending the time talking it up with the town leader. Of course I am. Someone seems to be knocking on the door. Very hard. Just, just give me a minute. I'm, I'm wrapping things up. So are you sure, like, you know what's happening for the most part? I mean, kind of. I'm not entirely sure. It's, yeah, it's not much to go off of. It's not. I mean... Voices are one thing, and that's all we got. All right. Door. And then I, I walk <laughs> over. I walk door. over, and I get the door, and I open it. And you just see. And I'm looking, I'm looking straight forward, <laughs> and then I look up. <laughs> hello. Um, hello. Hello. Are you the leader of this town? As much as I would like to be. No. And I turn around, and I point. He walks straight past you, ducks down okay. to get through the door. He has to kind of like duck and turn to the side, the but he gets in and he just looks at the mayor. He walks up to him. He's about five feet away and just says, Are you the leader of this town? Depends. What do you need? I've been told there are some issues in the town that need fixing. Ones that require... Glorious combat. I'm here to assist. Well, I- I'm not sure if combat is the best word. He just whips his head to you. <laughs> yes. 
us. Uh, t- tell him what you told me, please, before he hurts me. He looks at you, and he gives you the rundown of what's Slowly been... Slowly turns. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you the rundown of what's been going on in the town. Uh, there have been a couple strange sightings of people in... Only at night, in dark clothing. No one's been able to make out a face. No one's been able to say a word to them before they disappear. Shortly after they arrived, voices start coming from the well in the middle of town. That's it. I don't know who told you combat was needed, but we're not sure. I was told violence was necessary. I see I've been misinformed. As he uh, he looks to the mayor and just says, You say the well is strange. The well is strange, yes. He just turns and walks <laughs> Wait, oh, wait, not... Is... Okay. <laughs> no, he... As he gets to the door, he stops and just turns. He turns his entire, like, <laughs> upper body to look at you. What is it? I, I don't know if going directly to the well is the best idea. I mean, if the, the well... is the source of the strange happenings, is it not? I suppose so. Then it would be the first place you look. But the but the people aren't the people they're seeing aren't from the well. I can wait. So you can, big guy. Okay. Um tell you what. I'm looking into this too. Uh, my my friend here owes owes me a favor. Um and if I after I after I finish with them, we can finish up and then we can uh uh, figure out where to go from there. But tell you what, big guy, I will meet you at the well. It is done. As he ducks down back to the door, and he's gonna go to the well and just stand there. <laughs> motionless. <laughs> but actually, before he does that, he's gonna look into the well. Do I notice anything awkward about this well? Roll me an investigation check. Investigation? Could that instead potentially be perception? <laughs> Which one's better? Perception by a investigation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That's funny. Well, my five is wrong. It's a ten. Flat ten. Just flat ten. Uh, about forty-five minutes. Uh. It's a little long. A uh, flat ten. Just a flat ten. I rolled a nine, and my investigation is a one. Oh. Okay. I, I somehow wrote it down as a three. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't pause the music. Please pause. Bird! <laughs> no, it's not the bird, it's other music I'm trying. Because I closed out all my cabs, so I'm doing them one at a time so I don't have to take any breaks. Um, okay, so you're looking into the well, George. It's a well. You can't see the bottom because it's dark in there. It's made of stone. Could I fit into this well? You can certainly try. Hold on, I'm going to take a rock from the ground and I'm going to drop it into the well. And I'm just going to see if I... How clear is the water? I'm you don't not see there. any water. There's no water. Okay, I'm going to drop the rock down into the well. How many seconds pass before it hits the ground? Eight. Eight? Oh, so that's 80 feet, give or take. Yeah. So and you de- don't hear water, you hear clacking. So he determines he can't live that, uh, unfortunately. So... <laughs> He's going to... Does there look to be a store around? Like like a shop? So, follow the mouse cursor. I'm looking this at That's the big house. This is where Dimitri is right now. I will be putting these in post as well, just because I need to think ahead and yeah. say it so I don't forget. This is the well you're investigating. Yes. So you're like right here, because you mm-hmm. came straight here. Boom. You're right there. Yes. This appears to be a general store. He's going to look around, notice that building, and walk to it. And just... Is the door open, or...? As you are walking, the tone of the town starts to change. Everyone kind of starts looking, you actually start hearing some clamoring. Um, as instead of... What, did I drop the holy stone into the magical (laughs) well? Everyone actually starts bunching up right about here. 
right about there. I'm gonna look over to it. Like I'm still walking to the store. I get to the front of it and I just turn my head to see what's over there. You start to see people kind of start forming almost like a semicircle, and people actually start shouting. Like, yeah! Get him! Um I don't I don't think the it's combat, but it's not my fight. Is it combat? Well, they're yelling, get him. I'm assuming something's happening. What's more important to this guy? What could be a fight or what he's been told is strange? I'm going to roll a d20. I'm going to roll a d20. If it's above 10, I investigate. If it's below 10, I just go to the store. That's fine. The dice have ruled. I go to the store. It was a 10. Darn. All right. Well, I walk out of the office. Wow. (laughs) <laughs> it's weird. You see the big guy that was supposed to meet you at the well not meeting you at the well. And a lot of the town's occupants forming a shouting semicircle on the other side of town. And I, I put my head in my hands and I say, it's everything all at once. Okay. <laughs> and I, I walk to the semicircle, but my head is fixed on the minotaur walking into the shop. Make me a dexterity saving throw. Because I'm not looking. Because you're not looking <laughs> at all. To not walk into the... To, oh, God. <laughs> to not fall in the um, well. That is a seven, sir. Okay, so not into the well, but you definitely almost... You definitely... Yeah. Just, you definitely clunk into it. At well, actually, while you're walking, you trip, you catch yourself, your head is over the opening of the well. Mm. Do you want to roll an investigation check while you're popping in there? Sure, why not? Just to see what I see. Um... Uh, can I do a percent? No. Uh, it doesn't really. Oh no, I see nothing. It's dark. It's dark. Anyway, semicircle. Yeah. So as you get over there, uh, you, you kind of push in and out of the crowd, kind of, you know, just so you can kind of see what's going on. And uh, it seems like the town has finally started to raise their spirits, just a, a hair. That's you? Yeah. I forgot to mention. That's fine. I just... Well, in the middle of this semicircle is a large tiger-looking person, and what looks to be just a random passerby squaring off, throwing punches. One lands on the snoot, and this tiger just... The snoot boops. The, the, yes. The droops. Precisely. The droops. The snoot boops. The, the commoner goes for the waist, and this lion grabs their waist and eats them up, almost like a Batista bomb, mm. right down on the grass. And they're like, oh! And they get up, and they go, and they throw a wild haymaker, and, sh- and this lion ducks and gives the rock bottom straight through a table. Nice. Where's the table? <laughs> There's a table. Yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm imagining we can pick my table. Yes. This lion kind of just like stands up and puffs and offers a hand, and he takes, and the lion helps up the commoner. She's like, "That was a hell of a fight." Michaela, how do you respond? Um. Indeed. (laughs) Oh my god, my character is kind of oh good grief. God, you guys are gonna get along so well. It was an honorable, prideful fight. That it was. I will see you here again tomorrow afternoon. I have new moves to practice and new knots to massage. I will kill this man before I leave. (laughs) So you wish to fight? Yeah. (laughs) Puny man. I'm going to puny god someone before the campaign's over. Hey, this is Theros. Oh, yeah, I probably should have mentioned if it wasn't in, like... It's a Theros campaign. It's a Theros campaign! That means gods and stuff. And I'm not DMing! Uh, This tiger, large mane, clearly male. Why do you keep saying tiger? It's a lion. It's a lion! Leonin. Thank you. Leonin. Large mane, clearly male, has drawn the uh, the attention of the group and the rest of the freaking town. Uh, and as you scan the um, 
the crew that's kind of around your your usual bystanders are there, you know, cheering you guys on. There's one that you've only seen kind of pestering the quote unquote mayor right in front. You've seen him. He's only been hanging out with the authorities. How do you think that thing's charging? It's on it. Noise. But like, how does that work? I don't know. Science. I need to draw my character because none of the pictures made me happy. This was the closest one I could find. A five. I do that most of the time. Right. So, what are you doing? You see this interesting new face in the crowd. Well, I got the fight in. You did. I'm just gonna thumbs up. Oh, affirmation. Oh god. My character lives for that. <laughs> We fight for very different reasons. We would not get along. You leave your opponents standing. Dishonor. Well, not all of them. Not all of them. That was a very well-fought fight. That was very good. She's like, he'll... I haven't seen a warrior put a man down like that in, in weeks, even. When you pet the cat on the like ears and they just ah. yeah, <laughs> it's just low purring. <laughs> yes, the little grumbly cause yeah. big cat. Yeah. So. Yes, lives for the fight. So. Considers it an art form. No, you don't. <laughs> so would you like to describe your character physically? Big reachy claw. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lion with a black got the black mane has a really bad scarring over like the left side of the face and kind of some of it goes over the eye. Mm -hmm. Is your eye like kind of like kind of shut a little bit more than the other? No. Okay. It is kind of damaged though, which it makes sense for the stuff I chose. The whole the the. The blind sight or the blind, the blind sight? Yeah. Blind yeah. Yes. Okay. So, what color is your fur? Gold. All gold. Solid yeah. gold with a black mane. Yup. Very cool. Okay. So, you have a new friend, it seems. Yes. <laughs> My character's like, you're nice to me? French. <laughs> <laughs> that was, it was very good. It was very good. I have to meet... A friend at the well in a moment, but I would love to share a celebration drink with you later. But I'll I'll run now. Hey, roll me a history check. Uh, that could have been a twenty, but then it bounced. <laughs> <laughs> what am I rolling? History. Oh yeah. Okay. Fifteen. I think he's talking about the well at all the crazy stuff. Can I can I roll something to see how my character perceives what they've heard? Sure. What should I roll for that? Just roll a flat D20. Okay. The higher the 20 you get, the more accurate the information is going to be. That's fair. That's a six. Demon well. Bad well. <laughs> Run from well. Bad juju. Dishonorable no. juju. Dishonorable juju. Don't let anyone near this well. The well is rank. <laughs> we've got we've got honor, we've got glory. <laughs> and we've got me. <laughs> honor, glory, and me. It's the new TS it's the new TLC show. Boom, it's that's the that found our title, guys. Honor, glory, this, and me. This is falling together so perfectly. Yeah, I like it. I, I cannot wait for our characters to meet Michaela because yes. they'll be like, "Oh, I fight!" Like, "Oh man, the crowds cheer my name." The enemies curse mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh. You're gonna be like, "So why do you fight?" To die. To die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open the back door because nature sounds are welcome and it's warm in here. I do want to yeah. like my character. The background is sweaty. Nice. That makes sense. What about dog? She can go in and out. She does. Where's she? Baby! It's okay. just because I want to run the AC, but we're like voice memo. Yeah. yeah. So. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skedaddle off to the shop to try to catch up with the Minotaur. Are you coming? Who's name? He's talking about that well. You might want to give him that definitely accurate information you have about it. Bad well. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
So, you make it to the shop before you even notice Kitty Fox. Do I? Mm. You have been in the shop for a minute. I'm going to, assuming my thing's happening while that's happening, uh-huh. that took probably like five seconds. Mm, we'll say like a minute. About 64 okay. seconds. The whole, 64. the whole fight in the walk. Can you make sure that's charging? Because now George said something, and now I'm freaking out. Yeah, it's charging. Okay, okay cool. I so, don't want to die. Yeah. So, uh, Uvaris walks in. He's missing an eye. I'm trying to draw it. I'm bad at drawing, but I'm trying to draw my character so you have an idea. He, he's just missing an eye. The one blinks, and he stares at the shopkeep and just says, Do you sell rope? <laughs> <laughs> and he's just... Yes, we sell rope. How much for 100 feet? Three gold for 100 feet of rope. He takes out three gold. Well, actually, hold on. He's he's looking around the shop. And he puts just one hand on the counter. You You hear it creak slightly. And he just says... How much for a tinderbox as well? Uh, are you intimidating him? No, he's just asking the price. (laughs) (laughs) This is just his price. I can't imagine what this guy's like when he wants to make someone scared. He doesn't talk, is the thing. He just goes, (laughs) and then probably just (laughs) ducks in. (laughs) Scream out the nose. Little little nose ring flapping. Does he have a nose ring? Uh, totally. He absolutely has one. Okay, cool. But uh, he, he just asks the guy, just how much are these items? It's just real unfortunate that his tone of voice makes it sound like he's going to break your bones and eat them later. He says, reluctantly, just an extra gold. I need to I'm sorry. He just takes out four gold pieces. I'll take it. And he kind of like... Rope. He just takes the rope, puts it over his arm. Uh, not has not broken eye contact once. <laughs> like, <laughs> takes the tinder box. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And he turns around and walks out of the shop. Okay. As I'm walking in, he yeah. almost knocks me over. Yes. You want a deck save? Sure. Let's deck save. Second deck save. Oh, that's better than the first. That's a 19. Well, you oh, can you're probably fine. hear you, this guy coming. Yeah, I heard him I heard him coming this time. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to uh, figure out that the, his footstep pattern is very... Yeah. <laughs> and I look in and I see that the shopkeeper is horrified. <laughs> and I just say, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Did he... Are you, everything okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, great. <laughs> what did he do? Bought things! <laughs> Alright, okay, thank you. (laughs) So Uvaris is going to walk over to um, the well. Is there a stick on the ground? Perception. He is now investigating the well. You are trying to tell him not to investigate. Oh man. She obviously got to come up and be like... Perception? Yeah. 21. You find a stick. As you find a stick, what are you saying to Big Man? (laughs) The townsfolk say that there's things from the abyss down there. His head. As you as you you start talking and he's tuning you out. Say you say abyss and his head just (laughs) I like to imagine that there is a bone crunch sound with that as well. Oh there absolutely is. (laughs) Define abyss. They gotta explain, like, you know, the abyss where demons come from. <laughs> That's it. He takes the stick from the ground and lights it with the tinderbox. Okay. And no. drops it down the well. Exactly! Guys. Exactly! <laughs> yes, more fire! Exactly! Oh, I don't this is not this is not for the purging of demons. <laughs> this is for the gift of vision. <laughs> Can I see down the My well? My character is fed up and wants to make fire and throw it in the well. Can Give me a minute, pop. let me see what but I have. Okay, okay. As can I you see look in the world? We're gonna deal with that. Okay. Inventory, hold on. Ooh. I'm just standing here with my head in my hand. Wait hands. a minute, you have one eye? One eye. So, by the Oh, it's the happening, I have laws, everything I need. You have disadvantage on perception checks dealing with sight. Could we argue that because God, I don't? So. <laughs> I was gonna say, since he is made to be a living corpse, maybe the dead eye doesn't bother him too much. 
Odds or evens? Uh, odds or evens? Oh, you want to do it? Go ahead. Um, odds is obviously bad. So odds is bad, evens is good? That is a 10. Even. That's an even. All right. So, so you have it's more about. Yeah. <laughs> they get rid of the other eye. I know. That's why we stopped using it. <laughs> they get rid of the other eye. Why? <laughs> How come the gods can't stand me? What can you do? I have a torch, a tinder box. I have everything I need, actually. Okay. I want to so just light it and just toss it down there. You? Yes. What was your protection check? For the stick was 21, but let me roll again. For this, is an 18. Okay, so. How much of the well can I see that thing? As it drops, with an 18, even though it's like about roughly 80 to 100 feet away, you can see that it drops and there is like kind of like a little bit more space down there and there's next to no water. Like there's like a puddle where water is but supposed to be. This yes. town does not get water from this. And which is and crazy considering how close that is to the shore. It's weird. I know. It's just the map that's there, but that is a well. Um, the, uh, well, I mean, it's salt water, fresh water. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that makes sense. Uvaris yeah. takes the rope from over his shoulder, ties a bit to one of the posts on the well, and he's going to give it a pull to see, will this thing support my weight? He knows he's a very chunky How boy. heavy is he? I don't know. I mean, probably, for a seven and a half foot minotaur. Probably heavy. Probably roughly 400 pounds. Yeah, actually. Maybe five. Fenris is what? 450? Mm -hmm. I will say, as you give it a tug and you look back down into the well, first off, it creaks. Secondly, you kind of, as you're looking down the well, the flames start to dance in a very particular way. It almost seems like it's very unique and it almost, you, you might see, doesn't matter. Torch flies down, this one threw a torch in. Can the handle bonk off my head? Yes. And just... She's so excited. I'm, a, I'm about to figure out what's causing it. Just doop, there goes my train of thought. <laughs> yeah. So excited to help you with the fire plan. Dunk! Straight in. He just slowly... You have pitched a torch into what you believe to be the abyss. He's hesitantly going to look into it. <laughs> oh, you ain't looking in because Uvaris just looks up. <laughs> Explain the attack. <laughs> was, he, was he in the way? Or is he in the way? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sure yes. he doesn't mean it. Um, no, like, is he in the way of looking? He just pushes you aside. Well, that's what she's going to do. She's going to push you aside to look into the well and be like, there's demons! <laughs> that is not what I meant. Your flagrant attack against me. Explain the reasoning. I, I think, I think... It was an honest call for help. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> I think, I think, sir. What? I'm sorry. What is your name? Uvaris Iron Skin. Uh, Silverlin Donville. House Donville. Nice to meet you. I think that truthfully, uh, our good friend here was just trying to help you out. Look in, see, get a little bit of fire down in the hole, see what we can see. Isn't that that makes sense, right? I can see perfectly fine without assistance from others. Much less when their assistance causes harm. Okay. Um, can if you, you do something if with one that? has iron skin, how did you get injured? Iron is not unbreakable. You know what? Bro, it's a torch. <laughs> <laughs> that is a petty, if he's anything. Going to he's gonna just <laughs> raise his hand and grab your wrist. <laughs> I and do have the beefy claws. He's gonna just grab your wrist and just... Another mishap. And I will not forgive. And he lets go of your wrist and looks back down the well. Oh! How foul! <laughs> he, looks, he looks down the well again. I do not are, need are lights, forgiveness! Are the lights still dancing? Or has that stopped? I don't know, it's too much light for, light for too much fire to really see past. This is not a very wide well. I require a stronger base before I make my descent. He looks around. He looks at the stones of that I'm assuming are the base of this well. I don't think he would do it just because he's like, 
if the wood can't do it, I don't want to risk the stone, because that can hurt. So, he's just like, we must build a post that can support my weight before I'm allowed to descend. As he takes the rope, puts it in his explorer's pack, puts it over his back, and looks to, your character's name was Silverlin? Sil- Silverlin. Silverlin. I go by Silverlin. Mr. Silverlin. Yeah. Is there a way that you know of to construct a post that could support my mission? Well, no pun intended. Um, what is a pun? All right, buddy. No. Uh, I have an idea. Well, there's really someone cutting grass up there. Yeah. There's really someone just going to town oh, on the grass. That's all right. Our movie had uh, zombie. Zombie lawnmower. Zombie lawnmower. So yeah. that's fine. Well, you know, uh, Varus, I'll tell you what. I'll uh, tell you what. How close is the base, uh, like one of the supporting poles for the shop? I only bought um, 100 feet. How far is that <clears throat> distance? I would say... Well, Explorer's Pack has some rope in it. That's true. I think you get 50. Yeah, 50 yep. feet. So, so I, I would say if you, if you used all of your rope, you would be able to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Uvaris hmm? just... What? What did you say? Nothing. No, I don't. I There's think you should one. say it louder. I don't think the recording could. That's fine. <laughs> I can put it in close. The recording doesn't need to hear it. So Uvaris just kind of looks around. He notices the shop posts, but he's like, I feel like it just wouldn't work because he's a chonky boy. He's real heavy. If this thing couldn't do it, he doesn't want to risk very important infrastructure. So he's just like, he looks over the well. Do you think I could jump it? No. My character's going to say yes. Okay, we have a difference of opinion. Um, I think you would go splat. Keep in mind, he's not being, like, antagonistic. He's genuine. He's legitimately asking, could I survive this fall? Listen. Would you like to investigate that investigate. maybe you can or cannot survive this fall? I'll, I'll look and I'll be like, what are the chances I just live this? <laughs> Probably not high, but he It would be so embarrassing if this is how the glory seeking death character dies by <laughs> falling down the well one. in the first plot <laughs> point of the game. Uh, <laughs> what do you say this was? Uh, investigation. 19. You said it was I, an 80 foot drop? Every 80 10 to 100. 80 to 100. I, and. I only have 21 max health. <laughs> oh. Even if you like triple down on that hydroxy cut, I don't think you can fit. Even the slender boy might have some trouble he, fitting. He just oh, so I this is a small point. well. Okay, you could have told me that. I, I thought this was like a big well. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a big well. I thought it was like a, thought, well. yeah, like no, a no, Minecraft that, well where that, it's four. That meters. is one of the cliff notes on the PDF for this. The it well is not well to scale. Is not to scale. It's just and there, now, so you know it's there. Okay. Wait, so, so what? The well is probably what like. Enough for a bucket and some change to get water? Yeah, like, okay. if, if you okay. if you crammed, you might be I might crack I feel like foundation. he could get maybe both of his legs in. You, get, once he you might light, yarn yourself, though. Also. Yeah. Okay, so if the, if the well is that small, he just says... The well is what is creating the noise. But okay. there is no way to go inside of the okay. well. Okay, hey, hey, I have an idea. Oh, it was my first idea. I'm getting used to the head snapping. <laughs> it was my first idea. Remember remember what our good friend, the pseudo-mayor, said? The we, pseudo-mayor. We need a better Who's, title for him. No one <laughs> asked his name. Do, would I have known his <laughs> name if I've been around? You know his name. What is his name? Biff. Biff? Biff. Now, what our good friend Biff was saying was that there are people in the woods, right? Well, they come people from are around. around, yeah. Well, yeah, they're Dark, close. No one knows where they come from or where they go. But we saw them in the woods, right? Not we, but like the they have been people. spotted around. Around, okay. Is there, is there the woods near us? I is I latched no on. Woods? I latched onto woods. They have been seen around the woods. Okay. Well, hang on. I did kind of see, like, if you look right up in there, this is kind of where the forest starts. This yeah, actually goes on for quite. A that's bit. kind of what I was thinking. I'm like, tell you what. How about, Uvaris, we go check out the woods? Because that is the nearest place where, you know, we can maybe do a little scouting around, see if we can find some traces of these people 
who showed up around the same time as the Whispers, and maybe there's a way down to the well through there. I see one flaw with your logic. Please tell me what that could be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. But <clears throat> the perpetrators appear only during the night time. If we go now, they will have had time to have covered their tracks. I say we wait for them at the well. And Uvars just sits down right in front of the well. He's still looking at you and just says, I will be here if you require my aid. Do you have further plans? Yes. Explain them. Lion, before he can explain, you hear one of the whispers. It says, say, please. Hurry. Where am I hearing this from? Your head. The demons. Yeah. What do I, do I, can I roll for this? Or? What do you want to roll? That's an excellent question. What do you roll when you hear the voices in your head? Well, I would are, you looking for, are you looking for where it came from? Are you looking for, is it magical? Are you looking for, is it religious? Are, what are you looking for? What are you trying to and I What will... is? <laughs> Simply what is. I might go inside. Yeah, I'm inside. Oh. Oh! It's a six. Voices. They're voices. The demons are back! (laughs) The demons are back! You guys are trying to talk about your plan, and suddenly the... the, Wait, what are they saying? Save us, help me, and stuff like that? Yeah, save us, help me, hurry. And I hear nothing. And with a six... We we just hear nothing. Yes, that is If it's in my head, there's no direction. So, like, I don't know where to even start. Maybe by sharing with the rest of the class. I just want to simply be like, I hear him in my head. You are talking to a zombie minotaur. And a guy. <laughs> and a guy. My like, character doesn't know you're a zombie. That's true, but you definitely can tell. He just looks sick. Just he just looks very you. sick. He doesn't act sick. Do you just... smell? No. I was I was gonna bring it up earlier. There's no rotting smell. Okay. The gods are like, he needs to at least be able to go into towns to do this. I, my character probably took a look at him and went, Hep Yeah. Yes. So, Michaela hears voices and has just elected not to say anything, I guess? I'm or do you want to say waiting. something? No, just, they go and bring it up. What are you going to say? Uh, I hear them asking for help. Okay. I'm sorry. What was that? Yeah, Uvaris, no, Uvaris just looks at you and says, Who do you hear? I don't know. How many voices are there? One so far. Is it male or female? It's ambiguous. An ambiguous voice in my head. Boris just lets out a sigh and turns back to... I'm going to write it down with the pronunciation. S-Y-L. It's like Sylvan, but Sylvalin. Yeah, S-Y-L-V-A-L-Y-N. Sylvalin. Sylvalin. But I go by Syl my friends. And we still don't know Michaela's name, so... Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, can you explain that, please? Just an ambiguous voice in your head? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. What's your name? Oh, God. My character's, ins- gonna, give, my character's gonna give you their ins- performer name, <laughs> want, not their actual I want, name. Perfect. I want to insult you in your, in your actual name. <laughs> my character would not give it. No, no, no. They, they're gonna give the performer name, which... They're going by Blood Fang. Okay. Blood Fang. <laughs> yes. Blood Fang. Alright, well, Blood Fang, that is horrifying. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is what time is it? It was right four now. when you got here, it was probably like 10 after 4. 10 after 4? Okay. I don't think it took 10 minutes. Well, I, well I mean, really, it didn't. Nothing really happened. That's true. We've just kind of been meandering around. Mucked this around with this well. So. Um, yeah, I think what we do, tell you what, I'm gonna go, and he just, like, points in a various different directions and just goes, this way, and I'm gonna see what I can find out, see if anyone else has, well, obviously, other people have heard these whispers, but anyone else recently, see if, and no, no, like, direction, just in your head, right? Right? Yes. Okay, well, let's see if you can hear them. This is a start, right? Can you do me a huge favor, please? I need you to just walk around 
and see if there's anywhere where you hear m more of them, I right? Know, Blood know. Fang, right? Yeah. I will Can I do a history check to see if I've heard of Blood Fang the performer? Sure. That is a 16 on the die, and what did I say, history? That's a 19 total. How well known are you? Well known. Very well yeah. known. <laughs> you know, you can know, I, can gladiator extraordinary. Can, I get, can I get a specific event from my head? Ooh, can I make one up? Give me, give, me a, give me a city name. The big event about why she left the Pride. Go for it. Everybody would have known about that. Yeah. Well, then he would know that my character is not actually male. Yes, that is not a real... She's female. Oh, is that a thing? She's wearing... She killed... The dude was not honorable to us for backstory. Okay. He kept so hitting her this... while she was down. Oh, wow. That's okay. why she's scarred. Okay. She got back up and she fucking like ripped his mane off and killed him. And oh, she wow. wears it. Is that where is that why the golden black? Yes. Okay. Well, Bloodfang <laughs> I know how much I, I, I know you. I know how much you you know care about honor, right? What's more honorable? Letting these voices and weird people go around potentially harming people or um, not letting them do that and stopping them, right? I mean, she, she, get, she gets with people. this, but she's also like, what if it's demons? <laughs> if it's demons, that's even better because then we can fight them, right? I mean, you're, you're renowned for your strength and you are horrifying. So <laughs> together, you guys can probably... Why, how, how many demons do you think you can take, big guy? He just looks, looks at his hands, and you just, first you see one, then you see five, <laughs> then you see another five, and then, you, and then he just says, I would have to test, but more than likely many. So, listen, Uvaris, right? We got Uvaris, we've got Bloodfang, <laughs> these guys don't stand a chance, right? Can I, should I? Persuasion. Persuasion, Persuasion. to see how well this goes? Persuasion. <laughs> 16 on the die, 24. He's really My cool. characters felt hyped up and ready for the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys are going to do great. Uvaris, instead of sitting down, he's going to stand and just say, I appreciate your words. Right? Yeah. But I prefer to wait for the fight I know is coming. Okay. And he, and he begins to just stand. He takes out a short sword and just tosses it back and forth between his hands. And you know how like you do the thing where you toss it and then you catch the end of it and then you toss it back and you do the handle? He, do, he, handle. he does, <laughs> no, he, he just holds it. He does that a little bit and he just begins to wait. He's waiting right by the well for when they show up. All right. Has anyone told him that? The what? The, we don't know if the well and the strange people are even connected. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm trying to push for the, for the woods. <laughs> Because I'm like, I don't think the well is really an option. I'm like, hey, listen, tell you what. How about, how about you give me, uh, what, it's probably, it's not even five o'clock. How about you give me till six? We walk around for a couple hours, see what happens. Then you can come right back here and sit down they and just wait. that they only come out during the night. So, you know, we gather some information right now. I mean, it's not, nothing's going to happen during the daytime. Sun's in the sky, right? We do not know this to be fact, but, but it is good. Inside. But based on the based on information we have, it is logical to assume. But we cannot assume it will stay this way. Yeah. So we gotta strike while the iron's hot. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Uvar is gonna look around. He's going to look to the alley. Yeah. He's gonna look to the the woods. Mm. You 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 keep bringing to attention the woods on the outside of the town. Yes. Why? Because um, Biff told me before you got here that uh, there are these weird Stop. guys. Who is Biff? Sorry, the remember the guy that you uh, almost what? like, like scared to death. Remember that guy? You will have to be specific. You're right. I'm sorry. I should have known. <coughs> you remember the guy? Uh, I, when we met, remember when, you, when I opened the door and then you walked right past me to talk to the important guy? Blood the important guy. Like, That's Biff, the, the mayor. The mayor! The mayor, if you will. I understand. Proceed. Okay, Biff said that there are these weird guys in black cloaks, like, and they disappear. Again, not angry, not attacking, just legitimately Genuinely curious. Genuinely curious, yeah. What's his intelligence? Plus one. But he still doesn't know his name. 
Fair. He's never been to this town. He's just like, who is this guy? So, yeah, Biff. You know Biff. You met Biff. You towered over Biff when you entered his home. So, how about we check out the woods, because that's our best lead. We're not going to get down the well. Nothing. uh, He didn't. Biff never told me anything came out of the well. What is the well? Looks at the well. I'll be back for you. (laughs) (laughs) Just looks at the well, crouches next to it. (laughs) You are correct in that we cannot descend the well. (laughs) <laughs> Which means there is a chamber inside. Yeah. And the entrance to that could be, finish me off here. Anywhere. No. The woods. <laughs> the woods. The I was woods. looking for the woods. Thank you. Thank you, Blood Fang. I was Fang. looking for woods. Thank you. <laughs> could be anywhere. <laughs> or it could be anywhere. But we have the people in the woods sometimes, oftentimes other places too. But, you know, start with the woods. Start with one spot. You know, fan out from there. And then we have the well. We can't get down the well from here, but it looks like something's down there. So this, how do you get this down? This is correct. Yes, so let's tell you what. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to ask a couple people just broad, broad questions about what's happening. May I accompany you? Yes, of course my, you may. My form tends to discourage those who, have, who hold information. Yes. You will do the talking. Of course <laughs> I will. I will happily do that for you, buddy. Oh, I, my God. Anything? We are not friends. All right. <laughs> what does it take? Set Never mind. boundaries. What a healthy All right, man. That's good. Ooh, crack at the armor. What that's... does it take? Never mind. <laughs> Forget I said anything. What, what does it take to be your friend? Can I? Never mind. Have to see. <laughs> have you? How, how many come? <laughs> what does it take to be your friend? How many have you slaughtered? <laughs> slaughtered <laughs> is a choice of a word. I have not particularly slaughtered anyone, but... How many have you taken? How many lives have you claimed? Uh, how many would it take to impress you? What is the number? Like, I don't know, like eight, nine. What is he number? Roll the deception. Now the question is, am I lying about killing more or less? Just can, roll I roll, can I roll? Okay, that? eighteen because of my. I'm going to try to roll insight against that. That's fine. That's typically the, the number. Yeah, that's no, uh, that is. Oh, that is a 19. <laughs> I rolled a 14. Which one are you lying about? Ins- my insight is a I'm plus one. Low. Oh, you've killed more. I think so. Uvaris looks at you. And he's like, you're underselling. <laughs> no, Uvaris, no, he walks up. I am not afraid. Do not worry. He walks <laughs> up. Tell he, he, walks up right, he walks up right next to you. Hello, oh, hey. And just puts his hand on your shoulder. Oh. I can see a warrior's worth when it appears. Okay, yeah. Worth. You will be a valuable asset. Thanks. Thank you. As he removes his hand and then just says, lead the way. Blood Fang? Yeah. You just uh, saw that. Thank Are you, you for that. Going Blood Fang's more like. See, now you have his respect. And my character's defense. He doesn't like you. My character's but he only you. killed one person ever for honor. So they're looking at the serial well, killers. The as, far, as far as as, as far as Uvaris knows, you fight. He can tell that you fight, but he doesn't know why. So he respects you initially more than Silvalin, but Silvalin gave a I've lot got, of points. I've got a kernel of worth in there. You you project worth to him. <laughs> I do. Is it the scarred worth, big man. form? <laughs> I think if you were to be asked, what's your wisdom? Excellent question. It's a plus zero. <laughs> it's an 11. Oh, his, I don't know his math is going to be like, but I think just by watching that, I think if he were to ask you how many people you've killed, instead of giving a number, you should describe who and why that might help. No, so, my character wouldn't do that. My character would be honest. The jaw I gave my sketch has given me real spring trap vibes. Um, okay, so Blood Fang. Yes. Um, what's your what's your play here? Do you want to ask around? Do we want to check the woods out? What do we? Actually, Blood Fang's really good with the people. She has okay. like a community here, so she could actually talk with them pretty well. Yeah. It is unwise to run into combat without knowing your enemy. Exactly. And exactly. We currently, we currently know nothing about these yeah. about these intruders. I know what they are shaped like. People in clothes. Sorry, I he thought just, that would be more useful. Just Let's looks, just... He just looks at you and just says, we should, talk, we should ask the people. 
Yeah. So, do we? Let's let's go. Let's do it. Right. All right. So where are we going? Wherever Sylvalin goes. Let's check. Is there like a tavern or something, or like a bar, an inn maybe? I mean, you've been here a while, so you would know. Oh. Yeah. This right here, mm. is definitely where everyone goes to drink in the afternoon. It's not. Even, it's not even that far away. Absolutely perfect. So I don't know what these numbers are for. Um, I think maybe it's like a. If you zoom all the way out, out is that like a legend? No. Oh, well, maybe the, maybe it's part of a larger map, and then that is the yeah, legend. Probably, on it. but you know, kind of kind of like how Moldova had one. Yeah, just don't worry about the numbers. Just don't. Worry about I would tell you if they were important or not. So okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna say you still horrify me. I'm sorry. I have to bring it up. But blood fang, just, I still owe okay. you a drink. Let's yeah. check out. Let's go to the tavern. Check it is it out. okay. My appearance unsettles many, including myself. So, let's check it out. The worst part is you don't even know the worst part. <laughs> no, I, don't. Just think I just cool. know he's big. <laughs> you know he's big and scary. You don't know that he's a zombie. <laughs> let's check it out. I'm going to push through the door. Okay. Uh, there's quite a few people in here. Uh, when Umar, you, Umar, Umar, I will say that you have probably been here a, couple times. Been here a few times. You have been here a few weeks. <laughs> yes. I mean, I've been here for what, a day or two? Three, maybe? I'd say three. Half a week, give or take. You remember the time before, the before times, when people were jovial and, and, and loud and, and excited. We had, we had the it. Secret Fight Club every Tuesday. Yeah, there, there. I will say that there has been a fight club in the back of this very <laughs> bar up until recently, which is why you guys have had to spill it out not the tell Do not tell him. Do not tell him. Do not tell him. That's where my character makes her money. So, Don't tell him you can fight for a living. <laughs> so, what it used to be before all of this started happening, people would open the doors. It does have those old rickety, you know, like, you know the old western doors where they go, like that, like the opposite. That's, the opposite. That's why I did that. Ah, same <laughs> Because page. I had the same image. Same page. page. You go like that, everyone kind of, it doesn't matter who you are, everybody knows everybody here. So you, you walk in, everyone goes, hey! You know, do drinks and then are they more aiming for... They're not aiming for anybody, because this is in the past. Now, oh. people stay forward, hunched over with the I was licked. drink in their hand. Hi, how are you? Can I just do a quick scan for anyone who looks particularly distraught? Yes, roll Can me I do that time. same scan, and uh, I'm going to try to convince my way into it. It's a 16. 13 on the die. Can I try to convince my way to advantage here? He called it first. You can help him scan. I'll help, get advantage. I'll help him scan. I'll help him scan. Uh, I'm talking to better. the bartender. Yes. You know the bartender. Yes. So, 16. 16. In total? In That's total. low for you. Doggy. Doggy. Not for perception. Oh, I only get bonuses okay. to deception and sorry, charisma. Sorry, my bad. Not charisma, deception and persuasion. My crazy bonus, that is. Yeah, so you're looking and Uvaris just... Him. Thanks. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I know sometimes I'm short with you, but truthfully, I can already tell that you're going to be a very valuable. You are always shorter than I am. I know. I understand. <laughs> no, you know what, what, you know what Uvaris... I need a prop! You know what Uvaris does? He looks to you and just says, oh, I expect you to be short with me. I am taller than you. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was good! That was a good joke. Thank you. I can, yeah. There's a there's a funny guy in there. I'll find him yet. You will have to do a lot of looking. Okay, all right. But there's, all right. You know what? That's fair. I'll take it. <laughs> you have to do a lot. <laughs> I'll take it from you. And you walked off to the bar, right? Yeah, I okay. went to the bartender. Cool. The I know where to get the gossip. The cracked a joke, quote unquote. So. Hey guys, I'm coming right now. Oh, he needs a he needs a tankard. Of course he does. He's drinking. Well, put it this way. Saying you know you should fill that with some nice, nice, some nice cold water. Back off. <laughs> oh baby, oh baby, that's dehydrated. Don't. Oh, baby, I'm wadi. Little baby, baby, little baby, baby. Little baby. Ooh. The stupid little baby. Stupid little baby. Got a twink by sugar we twink. <laughs> Stupid little baby is spread across everybody. Everyone says it to each other, not just me. Stupid little baby is such a good joke. It is. I, it was weird. What was it? I don't know. You dropped the keys. Yeah. What? You dropped the keys. 
Well, no. Oh, I, it was. I, I forget we were waiting for something. You know, like I was, I just messing with my keys because you know I, I, I'm easily entertained and making a joke, and I just went, "Oh, what are you, stupid little baby? Like you like keys? Are you stupid little baby? Was that?" I know I was at my parents recording with the blue thing what behind me. I don't know. I'm just gonna go back and rewatch everything. It yeah. wasn't. No, it wasn't recorded. Are you sure? Yes, because I remember you. I were think like, it was. It was stuff was loading. I think we were like loading into dialogue. Well, stuff was loading, but okay. But if I was, but, but I, re- I remember when that happened. I would have. Left you would have, yeah. No, but here's like I remember you specifically saying, like after the episode when that from that session when all the recordings from that session were as episodes and you were done with that footage. Yeah. You were like, I'm so mad I didn't get stupid little baby on camera. <laughs> I remember though. I remember a big thing. Unless you're doing this thing with the jingle and saying you deleted it. And I waiting for like my birthday, please. From Morsk! From Morsk! We always leave you one in Morsk! We have Morsk! We have X. <laughs> we have X. I've caught you, Mikhaira, singing that many times. It's such From a Morsk! Good From Morsk! <laughs> okay, anyway, back on track. So, yes. So, I'm. Uh, Blood Fang is approaching the bar, and I'm approaching the one person I think that is. Odds or even! Is there a recording? Wait, is there a recording? Can you check the Can you check the recording? Oh, yeah. I don't think I ever stopped it. Yeah, it's good. Okay. okay. I just want to so, make sure. You said evens, it rolled odds, so... Okay, let you go first. Well, sorry, I was responding to people. There was a lot going on. What is happening? You go first. Going first into what? Oh, the bartender! That's what I was talking to! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to slide up dramatically. His name, as you know, is Sally Hunter. Saliandro. A vibe. He is a young, handsome man in his early thirties. Long blonde hair. Usually, when he is at least when at least when he's bartending, he's pulled into a tight ponytail. Uh, he's got some scruff. Um, his eyebrows are out of whack, but that's nice. <laughs> eyebrows, there. eyebrows on whack. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me they're like they're like. Whoop. Yeah, they're 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 something. He's got that old wizard eyebrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he says, Ah, Fengi! What are you doing here, Sorry? First, she wants a drink. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, she's gonna ask about the, the people in the woods. And like, oh, I hear so much about the well these days. I, I forgot all about the people in the woods. Uh, They've been spotted on... Oh, wait a minute. We're in a tavern. Can you change the audio? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Oops, wrong audio. Well, I don't think I'm going to need that, but maybe not. I'll get rid of it. Uh, He tells you uh, that uh, the people in the woods have been spotted, not just in the woods, but pretty much everywhere surrounding the town. They haven't really come into town, but a couple times. But uh, it does seem... That uh, it does seem that ever since they showed up, that's when everything bad started happening. Uh, people, a, a couple uh, children have disappeared. Uh, people are um, a few children have disappeared. Uh, a couple people have ended up hurt. Uh, there, there's even one person that's gone that isn't a child that's gone missing. Uh, it's been almost a week since they've seen him. Uh, but at, at this point, he just keeps hearing about the voices so much in the well, he completely forgot about, about the forest. About, yeah. Oh, wow, dang. It seems as if the well is a lot more intrusive than everyone's thoughts because it's right there where these people show up at night when typically no one's around. The security of this town is shameful. Yeah, exactly. It is no wonder they are dealing with such a pox. <laughs> oh, anyway. No, stop it. Last time we played, you wouldn't stop. It's so, so easy. So what are you doing with that information? Sharing. Okay. So, before you make it to your uh, steady spaghetti man, uh, Blood Fang approaches and shares that information with you guys. That the well is more... That the important. well is more talked about, not necessarily more important. Okay. And also that several children have gone missing and one adult even has gone missing. 
The adult should be able to fend for himself. The children must be protected. You know, that's a good, yeah, hold on to that. They cannot fend for themselves. It is the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Yeah, I could not agree more with you, and we can talk more about that later, because I have, I have stories Because I am the weak one here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your strength? Me? My strength's a minus one. Oh! I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. I operate more off decks, so that's my excuse. You're... I envision the opposite. Yeah. Well, because I'm a minotaur, I have to be bulky, but... Uh, because I I'm a monk, I have to be dead. You're like post death. Like, you, you're post death. Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. Yeah. Stiff. You're stiff. It's not that you're not strong, it's that you can, you're not limber enough to yeah. really use then it. Then why do you have plus are, five and you are, you are forced to lift with your back. <laughs> and you don't like that because you know that's not the rules. That the dishonor. You must lift with your legs. He'll probably. Lifting with your back. I, I think lifting he, with your back will bring dishonor <laughs> and future pain. He needs to seek out a magic item that'll bump that up. I need to Honestly. get gauntlets of ogre power. <laughs> you do. If I get gauntlets I, of ogre power, it's over. It's I, over power. I wouldn't. That might happen. I'm not gonna lie. Like with the, our last big guy had literally tens of levels across the board. I'm like, here are two items that give you a 19 and a 20. Mm-hmm. I w- the only one I would accept is something that buffs my strength or con. I kind of like my garbage charisma. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I don't want that. The garbage me. charisma is perfect. The strength could could be better. Um. Okay. So, I'm going to say thank you, thank you, Bloodfang, for telling me this. Um, I think maybe this guy looks very upset. Might be good to know. Who's so the I, upset guy? Some dude sitting at the bar. Some dude. Some yeah. poor drunkard. Yeah, no, he's got his head down. He's got his, his half mostly empty beer sign. I'm going to... Might even be asleep, you don't know. Do I know the guy? I'm going to walk I'm over, old. I'm going to slam a gold point on the table... And I'm going to wave over to the bartender, who I've only spoken to twice. Um, but I'm sure I know his name, because I would never forget. Sal? Sal something? I'm going to call him Sal. You know his name. It's what? Sal Alejandro? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, uh, I'm like, can I get, can I get a, a drink over here for my friend here? And I point to the guy whose head is down. Who looks at or looks at Ovaris? Drink for your woes? And he kind of looks up. It's been a rough week, right? And he just raises the drink up to be refilled. Yeah, and I'm also drink, I'm also drink, I'm also gonna ask for a drink. Myself. Drink first, talk later. So Salihandro mm. comes over, gives you a fresh one. Thank you. Tops off his that I'm not gonna bother because that's like four, four cans, cans worth. Yeah. Uveris uh, <laughs> just looks at him, and he kind of looks at Uveris, and he just. that this town has many troubles. I am here to assist in solving them. I doubt you'll be able to find anything that the rest of us haven't been able to. And what makes you so sure? Because I've tried. Explain. He goes into a story about how these... This is a washed up adventurer. Maybe. Don't you know uh, who he is? I was going to say... <laughs> I wring his neck. Because <laughs> I try and liar! <laughs> uh, so he goes into a story about how um, children started disappearing. And at first he thought that it was just kids being kids that went too deep into the Getting woods, lost. And we're going to have to go find them. And then it went to the one adult that you guys had heard about from Bloodfang, his wife went to go look for their son never came back. Parent. She is abiding by the she is abiding by her maternal code. <laughs> he uh he then says that he searched for almost three weeks, slept maybe twice, hasn't found anything anywhere. It was a valiant effort. Yeah, you've done a but you've done where, but a good where job. did you search? You're doing everything you're supposed to do. He said he searched the woods, top and bottom. He's been over every inch. And there's several miles to go through. Well, he had three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, he said he searched the coastline for any nooks and crannies that may or may not be there. He's searched in town. He's been poking around the well because this, the, the people started disappearing about the same time the, the voices whispers started, yeah. and the whispers started at the well. He doesn't know what's going on. He has come up with absolutely nothing for almost a month of his life. Have you have you tried this? Have you tried the tactic known as the stakeout? Where am I supposed to stake out? He wants the edge of the woods. If this is where they are reported to be coming from, they must come through the edge of the woods. You set up a strategic defense there. They will have no choice but to go through. And that is when you strike. Even the most simple-minded of tactician would be able to come up with this plan. I'm a blacksmith. Yeah, he's, he's laying it on a little bit strong, but his ideas are good, right? If, if we... Find somewhere where they might show up. I think. Wait, he's a blacksmith. At that, Overus puts his hand on Silva and mid sentence, and I stop. <laughs> you forge weapons and armor. Best in the town. He looks up to the periphery of his horns. I will have use for you. Just, just, be of use. just know, it, it will not be now, but when I find the source of, of these incidents, you will be in employment. I'll and he, for free if you find my child and wife. They are yours. Amongst the rest. How many, do you know how many in total have gone? At least seven. Seven? Okay. Um, have you heard the voices too? Does this town have any form of security besides the militia that seems to form in this town? Is You're there like guards? Okay, so there's there's no like usually this, there's, there's guards. Okay. So usually there's guards. I'm gonna ask him that actually. Does this town have any form of defenders besides noblemen such as yourself? We have approximately twelve patrolling guards. Where are they? Never where they're supposed to be. I'll drink to that. I'll right. drink. Please. I'll drink. Please. Yeah. drink to that. Where is the barracks of these guards? Three doors down. Thank you. He stands. He stands up. If I find your lost family, you will be the first to know. Thank you. Aside from, as he, you see an evil smile. The perpetrators. <laughs> As he walks, I should have made this man a paladin. <laughs> yeah. You always want to make a paladin. Because I like paladins. <laughs> They're fun, okay, they to fun. be fair. He walks out of the bar. That, that's all the information he needs. I'm having a character flaw where he goes in with just no information. I've always started that way without your, your and, consent, um, really. And I, uh, which, which doors, did which direction? He just said three doors down. So he's probably gonna. So band. Which one looks what? more? It isn't. That is a band. This is where you are. Yeah. Okay. Which one looks you more? You have one, two, three. You could go to green. That's one probably here. not it. Or one, two, three. I'm gonna say light green. I'm gonna say big. I'm gonna say light greenhouse is um is probably where it would be. That's one here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, he's just gonna walk to that building. Does okay. it? He's a soldier. He would understand what a barracks looks like. Does this look barracks to him? Does this look like a place where soldiers would stay? It looks like a place anyone would stay. Uh, is the door closed? No. There is no door. There is no door. Why? Does it look like it has been damaged? No. It looks like an intentional architectural design. He's going to look inside the house and... Um, He's not going to go in. He's just going to peer in with his one good eye. In the middle of said house, uh, you see a very square pit, about three feet deep, full of steaming water and naked people. You found the bathhouse. Wow. Well, cool. Avaris, <laughs> Avaris just stands and says, other direction. <laughs> Turns around and walks. Okay. Does he know how to? Why get would there not be doors on the bathhouse? If it's a public bath, you really think they're really worried about it? 
I guess, That's where I guess nudity immediate. is a is a fashion trend in this town. It's based on ancient Greece. So um that is actually a good point. Ovaris is going to walk clear other three doors. Does well, he have a count? Yes. His intelligence is a remember. plus one. Okay. Sure. Do I have to roll a D twenty? Just because he's hurt doesn't mean he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so one, two, three, you're back here. Then one, another two, three. three. Ba boom! You have found the barracks. Before you go in, what are you two doing? Yeah, I'll let them do. That. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put one more gold down so that's. I'm. Can you grab me? Yeah. There's at least six. So. Oh, where's my gold? Oh, I forgot I have a different. Okay, so I start with twenty-five. I'm gonna go down to twenty-three. I'm gonna put one more gold down on the thing, and say, "Don't worry, we've got this covered. Um, enjoy the rest of your night as much as you can." Hey, just like says, I'll be happy. Yeah, well, hopefully you can see the bottom a couple times tonight. Mm. And then I leave. Dang. What are you doing? Leaving the tavern yeah. thing? You're gonna leave. Investigation. What are you gonna go investigate? Oh, I don't wanna go by myself, but. You I'm still investigating the whole woods thing. So are you gonna go to the woods? Most likely. Okay. So you're by yourself to the woods. I said yeah, not by, by myself. In town. I'm in town. <laughs> I'm gonna follow the person that I'm still with. I'm gonna also okay, go to so the woods. You two are gonna go to the woods. You are going to the barracks. Yes, because okay. I, as a former soldier and obviously a very stalwart believer in the rules of war as I know them, having a defense of this town, I have not seen a single guard. I have not seen any defense whatsoever. That blacksmith, as far as I know, is the only one who's trying. I need to have some words with the commander. Oh awesome. god, I am so worried for the commander. <laughs> if you open the door, it's Valentine level 20. <laughs> uh, so, I did level him up to 20 for a cameo and another thing. He's busted. Yeah. Isn't he a fighter? He's a fighter champion, yeah. Dude. Literally level 20 fighters at base get four attacks, and then you can action surge for eight. Yeah, like fighter, and, and, and you said champion fighter? Yeah, oh, so, so his crit range is busted too. His crit range is 18, 19, and 20. Yeah, so it's cool. insane. And, and of course, Jared, of all people, had to test it. And he, because he's temporary in a side campaign, he's not even in the main one. I gave him the only legendary whip there was, yeah. and it killed him in one hit. Nice, and he was level four. I hit was hurt, man. Fighters, Fighters hurt. hurt. Anyway, um, so you guys start walking to the woods, and you hear this one sing himself, wrong direction. <laughs> wrong my direction. Hit, yeah, wrong, wrong three doors. And you just hear, mm, 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 as Overus is walking past. <laughs> Knock him dead, buddy. D- don't actually kill them. And I just keep walking because I do not want to be held culpable for what he's about. He, he stops oh, no. and turns. They have not earned the glorious death I so desire yet. Cryptic! And then I run. <laughs> Good yeah. for you, buddy! <laughs> so you guys are going to the woods. Yes. Blood fang leading the way. Oh, fantastic. You're the fighter. You, you should definitely not let Dimitri lead the way. That's so, okay. You guys, because... To, to encounter Overic the way you just did, he was here. Mm. You guys came from here, so this... We're probably crossing between there and the wall. Yes. Yeah. And then he's going over here. So, mm, George Ods Um. Uh, evens. That's a three. They're going to go first. That's just so I don't That's keep fine. picking That's the fine. same people or different people. Yep. Uh, ooh, 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 new music, new music, oh my god. I don't know how that, I don't know how that's picking up music. Hopefully good. Um, so, you guys approach the forest. The air feels thick here, and I don't know... Barovia, I don't, no Barovia, no Barovia. <laughs> you never know. Oh god, that'd uh, be a twist. <laughs> Somewhere within the trees. <laughs> you know, vampire fans. Are yeah. always <laughs> you know, voices from what's happening all the time. Right? <laughs> it's not even that weird. You know, you what know what I mean? once got to the bottom of voices in a well. 
Let me tell you, a lot less uh, cool than you think. <laughs> it was just a couple guys in the well. Because <laughs> once you said you just here, and I'm like, I, I know exactly. Because it ain't gonna be secret buried. Because all she does is encourage and intend. And, 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 and Valentine would Valentine. rather just die. die. <laughs> yes, and so it's <laughs> that's funny. Anyway. We're playing a video game. Did you I guys, thought it was going to be the werewolf that no. he shot. He just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And then just, okay, don't waste that. <laughs> <laughs> just running straight by. Like, I heard gold works better. <laughs> oh. Anyways, uh, air is thicker. Yes, air is thicker. We recently went on a nature walk where we saw the trees were so dense that it was the middle of the day and it was dark. In there, like it was actually like sh- you saw. Yeah, like the, the the trees are so close together in a lot of places that it's you could not see through. No, you and can't. it was dark. Like if you look straight, it's cool. While it's all in different places, you can't see like the other. It's one hundred percent wood. Mm-hmm. These are thick woods. Thick, thick woods, thin trees, but thick woods. Okay. Um, Kind of like a, a a fog kind of laying across it as well. It feels very different than the otherwise sunny and not jovial, but so we're a bit into the woods up by now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you don't hear anything from the town anymore. Not that there was much going on anyway. Yeah. People are sad and quiet. No more fight club. No more fight. Well, you should have asked about fight club. I was hoping to get George in trouble. So. You guys are traveling through. Is there anything you're looking for in particular, or are you just kind of going strolling, seeing? I'm just. I'm mainly looking at like the ground, and like because that's with all the trees, that's kind of what I can see. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for any trace of footprints or like impressions, or maybe some latent like magical energy I can maybe pick up on. We're only survival. Survival. May I roll as well? What? Ooh, oh, fifteen on the die. I'm gonna roll for 18. survival though, because that's my um, professional name. I'm quite sure. Arcana. Arcana. I'd rather not. I, I got an 18 for I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told the DM that. that's not a role you're proficient in without saying it. <laughs> proficiency. Okay, so, because we can only do one thing at a time. I was hoping to get you both. But if you don't want to roll Arcana, we can just do it with survival. Well, I was going to roll for the same thing, but maybe learn something different. Because why not? But that's okay. <laughs> roll, roll, no, roll it, roll it, roll it. No, no, Fred. What, you can roll better than me. Maybe. I only got an 18. But if you roll worse, I'm going to kill you. Please, no, I just made this character. I haven't gotten a chance to kill them. We're not talking about it, I didn't roll. Yeah, she George, what's good. your character's name? I forgot it. Uvaris Iron Skin. Okay, so 40 Uvaris come out of the floor. <laughs> Come out of the trees, <laughs> knocking the trees <laughs> down <laughs> as they come. That's a that's a deep cut joke. Yeah, that's that's way back. Yeah, I kind of want to bring, bring it back. Huh? I kind of want to bring it back. I'm always down. Forty bells. I'd make you guys play new characters. Let's go. Huh? I'd probably make you guys play new characters. Though. I would be fine with that. I mean, Hank was retired at the end anyway. That's true. Oh my God, Hank Graves. I, I do miss Hank Graves. Yes. I wish I had. I wish I wish I could play himbo. I wish I could yeah. use the eraser again. The he was literally a himbo before the term himbo was used. Yeah, yeah. it was just a dumb, big, big dumb guy. Yeah. I think it was what chaotic good. Something like that. Well, he, I, yeah, I, I remember. No, I think he was lawful, your, but I played him like a chaotic evil. Yeah. Your big thing was oh, he's real perceptive, and I think you rolled. I think every single you rolled really low, but your bonus was high. You could, my I, bonus was a plus five. And I think every Which single encounter, we every, with just every roll, you were like, "Can I perception? Can I use perception? Let me use perception." Yeah. <laughs> what can I see? Anyway, what do you see with your perceptive eyes? So you, who's you? Mm. No, you didn't roll. I didn't see anything. Well, that's why I I'm asking you. who who is you. I missed that part. You do see several different sized foot indentations. Meaning that it's not just the guy who was claiming to have spent so much time going back and forth. Maybe one of these is his, but there are enough different sizes to think. It was, it was a, different people. Yeah, definitely different people, and they were definitely through here a couple of times. I'm gonna point him out to Blood Fang. I'm like, there, there are multiple footprints here. Little footies. From different footies. From different footies. Little, little legums, they're footies. I like how the further Do Blood they... Fang gets from a fight, the more her the more her language devolves. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're little footies. Like, 
but they're what, the little what, tootsies. Look at this. Look at this right here. Are they in the same direction? It sounds like there's some out and returning. They're going both ways. Yeah. But if you notice, you two are not making footprints. The uh, ground is too hard to make footprints right now. So it right rained, now it, it rained recently. So it did it rain recently? Footprints. I've been here for four days. <laughs> these foot you have actually. Damn it! <laughs> uh, you uh, do uh. both of you have. <laughs> yeah, wow. she she the, one, the one person who wouldn't know isn't here. <laughs> So you know that the ground is too hard to make footprints. If it's dry, it rained last night. So these footprints were made by several different individuals. That is some fast last drying night. ground. It, it's bare. Yeah, true, true. <clears throat> Plants made day. Shut up. It's actually four, but I was gonna kill you. <laughs> you can't. I have advantage on death saves. <laughs> <laughs> you can try, my man. <laughs> Anyways. Actually, no, no, you can kill me? Good. That's my character arc. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like all three of these characters too much. So, yeah, I'm... So... They've been active in the woods as of last night. Question. Mm. There are smaller footprints? Child yes. size? Yes. Child size only one direction? Yes. Wasn't well, there a kid who was missing? There are, there are several. several. There's, I think, six or seven. Oh, people. I missed that part. I just heard about the one recent. That was that adult. There's... there's Oh, there's one adult. Something's not it's, not, it's not processed right. So, so I'm, I'm missing how, seven how far are they? Oh, okay. You are about seven and a half minutes walking in a relatively straight line with a couple sways and swoes. We need to go get the other guy. Blood other thing. guy. Blood thing. I don't want to leave you alone in the woods. Do you think you're, you can handle being alone in the woods? Yes. <laughs> the confidence. Okay. Can you, I need you to, it took about seven and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. I need you to give me, uh, give me 10 minutes. And I want you to count to 10 minutes in your head and then I want you to scream really loud, okay? Because then I'll be able to find you. She screamed really loud. I have daunting roar. <laughs> 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 yes. Is, Michaela, I was thinking about playing a Leona. I know that ability. <laughs> yeah. If we had two Leonids on the party, it's just Wah! Ah! Yes. The boy and his cats. <laughs> ah! yes. So I'm gonna go back and then just to make sure that I can find you, I need you to yell really, really loud, and I'm gonna go back and get a Vars, okay? Yeah, yeah. Does that yeah. does that work? I don't wanna leave you alone here because there's weird stuff afoot. No, no, she's cool, trust me. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. she... You stay literally right here. Do not lose these tracks, because these are important. And so then I so turn tail and I book it. What are you doing while he's gone? <laughs> and pulling out a weapon. Ooh, pretty bug. <laughs> are you going to stay where you are, as he said? Um, I mean, yeah. I guess I could walk around a little bit. Dope. I have my flail out. How far? Not that far. Just right. kind of like investigating where the little tracks go. They keep going. Like sometimes you lose them in a couple places where maybe the ground, like you know, there's too many trees. Some grass to grows. Really, yeah, saturate the ground, but tracks one direction. So what happens in this roughly twenty minutes there and back with uh, Ovar? With you. Oh. So I went to the barracks. <laughs> you did. There are two guards standing outside the barracks, sitting on lawn chairs. Lawn chairs? Hang on. Wait. 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 <laughs> you have, wait. To, I have to add them to the map. <laughs> I don't have to. I do. I should. Dimitri, because you're home, we can use the resin printer. We should print minis. I have a couple queued up for our next session. Dope. Okay, so I'm, can I use some of your dice? But you can't look at them. Yes, which set would you like? Colors. You want the this? It's a lot. This combat music is not for me. It is for to match your vibe. This is not combat music. This is the war path. <laughs> yeah, I... I think okay, Sam, have you seen Daredevil? I'm not going to do this unless they really make me mad. But have you seen Daredevil? Show? Yes. I did not watch season three. Okay, me neither. You know the hallway I'm fight scene, right? right now. <laughs> yes. You know the hallway yes. fight scene? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Fisher or... Daredevil. Okay, yes. Before he gets the costume. Yes. If they make me mad enough, prepare to have the, 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 the fight the hallway fight scene. Listen. Okay, but listen. Ovaris walks up to the guards. They're on lawn chairs? Yes. 
uh, he stands up, and because he's an officer, um, I'm not sure if he would still have his insignia, but he would remember how to use his commanding voice and go, ATTENTION! And they kind of like, they kind of like slowly stand up and they're like, who are you? He walks right up to that, to the one that spoke back. He's slouching. He's gonna grab him by the like ch- the chin and just push him up so that he's a standing straight. And he's gonna do the same to the other one. Okay. <coughs> you should be ashamed to call yourself soldiers. You do not deserve to wear the armor that is upon your bodies. Where is your commanding officer? I demand to speak with him. Inside. Pushes them out of the way. Goes in. Okay. So you go in. There is a uh, a clerk at the front desk doing paperwork and he's uh, just kind of shuffling around. Doing and then things. he just hears BOOM! He <laughs> as the door like, flings open. And he kind of like Whoa! Where is the commander in charge of this town? It depends. Who's asking? Ovaris Iron Skin. That means nothing to me. I'm going to search my... Do I have my insignia on me? Can I like? I feel like it would be useful. No. <laughs> okay, fine. Thanks. <laughs> Ovaris, he's just gonna walk up to the clerk and just. You have your insignia. Okay. I changed my mind. I'm going to just put the insignia down. I'm an officer. And I'm just going to say, I'm here for a routine inspection of your forces. It will not take long. As you are talking, this individual walks from a back room, comes out. A uh, very tall woman comes out, lays an insignia that matches yours, just less dirty and grimy, and she says, you want to speak to me? I look up. Is is this a human woman or is this another minute? It is a human woman. How tall in comparison to me? She's like 6'5". Okay. She's still short. She's shorter than me, but tall tall for a human. He takes the insignia, puts it in his pocket, and just... As, as a fellow commanding officer to another, this defense of the town is shameful. I have seen no patrols, no perimeter guards, and the only two sorry excuses for soldiers I've seen are the two lounging out front of this building. What do you have to say for yourself? Do you have money to hire better help? Because we don't. Money should not be an issue when safety is a concern. Conscription is viable. Are you available to hire? I am employed currently. However, make an offer and I will think about it. We can give you at least five gold a day to do everything you're claiming you can do. He's, he's thinking about that offer. Guarding a town. Will that lead him to an honorable death? Probably not, unless an army invades and that really doesn't look like it's happening. He's going to say, Another time. I'm investigating the rumors surrounding the well in the forest. I would like to know what your soldiers have been doing th- during this time. Leave no detail unsaid. Uh, and he's fuming. <laughs> She says to you that they have launched an investigation on the well. Uh, it, they've been able to kind of suss out that... Suss? <laughs> been able to kind of suss out that, yeah, something is going on in the well, and it does appear as if there's more space at the bottom of it than there really should be, like something might be going on, but nobody I knows I figured that out by dropping a torch into it. <laughs> But she says if someone's getting down there, they're not using the well because while, yes, the patrols are lax, they are always active. I have not seen a single one, so I'm just going to call BS on that in my head. But if you you see these two sitting right here, yes, direct eye contact with the well. So they have been watching. They've been watching, but so it's clear that they aren't using the well. They're not entering through the well. Are they exiting? No one is using the 
the opening of the well to get to the bottom of the well. Are there... Do you have blueprints for the well's construction? Any information you can provide on what could be at the bottom of the well and what connects to it? I mean, not here. I'm sure Biff would have something. Then you and I will go talk to Biff. And we will be resol- and we will resolve this matter the way it was intended. I mean, that sounds great, but I'm gonna stay here and do the job I'm paid for, just like you're gonna go do the job you're paid for. He's gonna hear the job I'm paid for and just And what, pray tell, are you doing now? Paperwork. Paperwork. You are a valiant soldier. You have committed your life to the art of war, and you sit here signing documents! Big puff of air out of the nostrils, and he goes. He just leaves. He stops at the door, turns around. I'm surprised this city has not been set ablaze with how lax security seems to be. And he goes to Biff's office. Okay, okay. So, so, yes, there's a huffy puffy big man going from one building to another. He's, he, the, the guards look terrified and have definitely cleared the way. So, is he leaving? He's leaving the, that place and he's going to Biff's. Okay, so I'm going to run down and catch up with him. You look very angry. I am. Okay. Uh, are you heading to Biff's now? Correct. I, just from the trajectory? Okay. We found footprints in the woods. Describe. Footprints, uh, we, we found multiple sets of small ones and some big ones. Uh, Good. Some, so the big ones come back, the little ones don't. Continue investigating. Can you come with us? I have matters to attend to. I Listen, I'm on a tight time frame. I told Bloodfang to scream in ten minutes. And it's been at least eight. He stops and just... Looks at you. <laughs> and for once, you've caught him on the back foot. <laughs> this entire time, he's been taking it in stride. But the phrase, I told Bloodfang to scream in ten minutes, has broken through this tough exterior. I mean, oh. even George, George was there for that, and it still seemed like it took you off guard. <laughs> he just turns to Sylvan. Or Sylvan. And just... Excuse me? I told Bloodfang to scream in ten minutes. I don't know how that's confusing. Why? Because she is standing above the footprints that we need to go to, uh, to follow, and I want to make sure that I know where both they and she are. Does that make sense? Because if I get lost, we're all separate. I'm trying to find the blueprints that lead under the well, and any information regarding its construction that could help us. I have a great idea. Can you do that when we get back? No. Because if we follow the footprints now, um, it's, it, it's the sun's still out, our chances of being attacked by these cloaked things go way down. And we can just follow them uninterrupted. It will not take long. But uh, she's going to scream in ten minutes. I need to bring you with me when she does. D20. <laughs> I'm going to roll I'm gonna roll persuasion above as well. 10, above ten, I go... Well, it's an 18, because I roll an 8. Okay. And I need to bring um, it up to ten, so... I'm going to say 15 or, because your role was so good, 15 or lower, I go with him. 16 or higher, I just go to Biff. Okay. That is... I can't read. That is a nine. So, he looks to Biff's office. This had better be fast. I, well, hopefully. And then, I just scream. I just run. What are you taunting, Roar? (laughs) And... Ovaris is following. Yes. And so I... Uh, it word probably word? takes, what, a minute to get to the edge of the woods? About. And so she you screams when minute. that happens. Creatures of your choice within ten, ten feet that can hear you must exceed a wisdom saving throw of a cup until the end of your next turn. Well, that's... Okay, so that's no comes around, around you, but you do hear... No, I'm just using it for theatrics. Yes, the, the roar... You know how Alex the Lion in Madagascar does the pose? You have the roar. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. All right, have you moved at all? Just a little to, like, look at stuff. Okay, give me a perception check. You've lost the footprints. I was looking at them. How do you lose something you were staring at? 
Uh, Don't assume what you're rolling for. No! I mean, Sam. Perception, oh god, it's a flat roll. Sam, I move your Dr. Pepper under a table. What is it? Is that a nat one? Three. I mean, you still have the footprints. I can't tell you anything else. Okay, I'm I'm like running. I'm sprinting because I hear this roar, and I know I can only probably keep it keep the direction in my head for as long as for uh, not as long as I need to to get there. So I'm listening, hearing the direction, and running in that direction. I want to make that call. Are you dashing? Uh, what does that look like, Sammy? What? If something is invisible, I will still know that it's there. How does this work? Just letting you know. Okay. I can see invisible. it. Okay. So, so let you know. is he dashing? Ask him. Yes, I'm, I'm literally, I'm using my actions to dash. I have a base movement speed of 40, so I would say every other action I'm dashing to keep up with him, but if I don't need to, I do. Are you doing, are you doing, are you smashing through trees with your horns? He doesn't see any of two. Okay. He's just, he's swerving around them. He's, he's fast he's enough agile. that he can just... Yeah. Michaela, what kind of weapons does Blood Fang use? If he has to barrel oh. through trees, he will. But... She has a flail. Okay. She has hand axes, long sword, a sickle. What's your main one? Uh, the between flail the, the flail and the sickle. Because I'm looking for minis right now. Really? You don't have a long sword? She also has... Flail um, like a ball and chain, bro. Yeah, she has she weapon bond. She said between the flail and the sickle. <clears throat> What's that? Weapon bond, I can call my weapon back to my hand. Oh, like, if so I throw cool. it. That's so cool. I think I might start being less particular about the weapons. Because it takes too long to find good minis. Yeah. So, as you're kind of walking along with a perception of three, staring directly... I did have my flail out, just so I remember. it was already out. I remember. Yeah. As you're walking along, only looking at the footprints and nothing else, make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, you're getting jumped. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> Please be good. A 12. Total? Yep. I think the DC is 14. You think? 13. Yikes. <laughs> I barely failed it. What a crime. What happens now? By your ankle, you are now hanging upside down by a rope. Make me a second. Next saving throw. Does this get a penalty? That was worse. Or no? What? Three. Wait, if whatever's doing this was in ten feet of me, wouldn't I be frightened? That was like ten minutes ago at this point, wasn't it? That was a while ago. Or it, depending, depending on how also, long you, after the scream. That may or may not have just been a trap. Oh. So. Man, you really showed that rope. What's up? <laughs> So, oh damn, Barry. You said, what was your next save? Oh shit, it was it was like a I think a three the or three on the die, I think. Okay, it's not that bad. You take two ouch damage. I don't know what type of damage your weapon does. You have your flail out. Those things are not graceful. It wumps you in a snoot. Oh. I think flails do piercing. I'm pretty sure they do. It's so which is weird because they should do bludgeoning. <laughs> so. Yeah, the flail kind of like wongs you a little bit, but you are now upside down. It does bludgeoning. Okay, so bludgeoning. Oh, okay. So two bludgeoning damage as it gunks you right in the snoot. In the snoot? Yes. So Am I in some sort of... I'm not in a net. It's my ankle. Yes. It's like in the forest. May I try to cut it? Wait, you have hand axes, correct? I have claws, actually. Uh, she does just have that claws. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a flat roll. Man, this is like wee. a nine. Nah, you still stuck. You're, you're clawing at it though, as uh, your two new uh, companions approach. Do we see this predicament in front of us? Yes. Blood Fang. He's. Just, you, are you okay? Avaris is. Are you? Do you have this under control? She needs help getting down. Avaris just looks at this and just. A big attack. I'm gonna be really cool. I'm gonna take out my dagger and throw it at the rope. Give me a dex check. Straight dex? Yeah. 17. Yeah, that's it. I, I, do I see where my dagger lands? 
Give me a perception with disadvantage <laughs> because these trees are with tight. disadvantage. Because they're it's tight, tight and it's dark. Okay, first roll is a fourteen. Second roll, I crit, so fourteen. It's stuck up in a tree. Oh, you ain't getting that back. Unless, right, unless I can throw you up. Yeah, how, how high no. Is it? <laughs> Twelve and a half feet up. Twelve and a half feet. Okay, that's like that's that. like three of me. Not three. No, that's like how tall is your character? I am because I'm seven. And uh, we never did my description. Do your description. We still forgot. I am. I'm twelve and a half feet tall. I think I initially put down that I was six foot, but I think I want to be five eleven. Five eleven human, uh, mostly human. Ears somewhat pointed. I've got dark, big hair, kind of fluffy ish, um, uh, like a dark, like a almost black, dark brown, and then out of my head are little branches growing around that form like a laurel crown like they have on like the statues and stuff and it's uh just green leaves and with some flecks of gold and i'm wearing very nice clothing nice yeah and i've got i've got a a deep deep purple eyes avaris's clothes are definitely salvaged for people around i'm human but hex blood has warped me a little bit Okay. Novaris' <coughs> clothes are patchy and are different sizes, and he's stitched them together roughly oh. to make patchwork clothes, and that's just what he wears. Okay. Yeah, we're not. I'm bad. I anymore. think my char- my character would wear costume esque gladiator clothing pretty much all the time. That sounds about right. And where's the mane of the dead one? Yeah. Yes. <coughs> Did she get it like? Um, Taxidermied? Yes. Okay, good. I was gonna say, <laughs> Icky. <laughs> yeah. No, no, she did it appropriately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so wanted it to be a constant reminder. So this proves to you that there are definitely people in the woods, and definitely like traps for people searching for them. I start trying to gnaw the rope. Oh no, I'm right, free. free. Okay, I was gonna be like, people in the woods, definitely. bad people in the demons. Woods. <laughs> exactly, demon, demon people in the woods. Ovaris. Can you do me a huge favor? Whoa. Can you lift me up so I can grab that? He looks up. Do I see the dagger? Yeah. Do you require it that badly? It was my mom's. Ours has no attachment to this life. <laughs> it's <laughs> more about sentimentality. I would like it back. How else can I kill people? He just raises his fists. I, listen, not, not as good with these. That is good. Fine. And uh, Ovaris kneels so you can get on his shoulders. I'm going to climb up on his shoulders and hold the tips of his horns to steady myself. <laughs> and Ovaris is just going to stand up. <laughs> and as, as you reach for the knife, make me a next saving throw. Oh, Lord. Ah! <laughs> I fall, dude. I so fall. That's an eight. <laughs> you fall. You fall. Do, I, do I at least get it beforehand? No. No, no, oh, no, I was gonna say you were gonna fall with it, yeah. ten and above. And uh, no, it's still up there. Ovaris just looks at you as you're on the ground. It is no longer worth it to me. I I would offer to lift you, but I don't think that's gonna pan out. You have tr- you have tried, and you have failed. Yeah. The dagger remains. Okay. Is it like I, up in the tree? It is stuck in the tree. Do we have? I have good acrobatics. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> she just jumps up and just. Cat person. Blood fang solid for solid. Solid for solid. Yo, I'm rolling terrible. Me too. I'm. I'm gonna say. Oh, I didn't you're do rolling anything. terrible. My only good At roll was on this advantage. Stats. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm Actually, sure. I. I'm. It, it was an eight altogether. Oof. Doing. I'm just getting on back. You, you gotta roll it. Not can, I, can I? Can uh, I? Ovaris, listen. I know. You, I'm not gonna ask you to pick me up again. Can I borrow some of that rope? Come on, man. Did you collect the rope? Yeah. I never tied this. What is it? Oh, that's true. I never actually. Well, well, okay. I tied it to the well, and then I gave it the tug, and then I was, and then you said it creaked, and he's like, "That's not gonna work." So then he took it back. Better. Um. He just looks at you and just for what purpose? I want to get I, the net, the dagger. He hands you the bundle of 50 foot. I take it and I just start, I get like, I grab it so there's like a loop. And it's a long loop and I just go, <laughs> I just keep doing that until I can hook it. <laughs> I don't know how many checks it <laughs> take, 
<laughs> but I'm just going to give it to you after three. Yeah, perfect. Well, I rolled one. Oh, wait a minute. That changes the everything. Rope, the rope snaps on the blade wait, of the wait, 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 wait. No, it's okay. You already said I have it. We can what is your attack? You, yeah, no, I'm not going to change that. What is your attack? What do you mean my attack? Like, if you were to attack with the... If I were to attack with the plus five. Well, he's five. not proficient with rope. Like that. He's not proficient yes. with rope. Yes. Ah. Yeah, plus five. So if you were to roll to... If I were to roll to hit, I would roll with a plus five. Does a 23 hit you? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. What's the... What's the... D4. If it's a dagger. It's a D4, and then with me it's plus three. Oh, only four. Four damage as it literally sticks into your shoulder. Ah! (laughs) Oh my god. You're a sad excuse for a man. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. You will. As well as that shoulder. Yep. As And I will take this as he grabs the rope back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the rope. I'm going to slowly slide it out and just keep my hand on it. Good move. Pressure's pressure. We love that. Pressure. <laughs> so what are we doing, gang? I'm going to wipe it off on the ground. Um, well, Ovaris was dragged out here uh, because... Uh, Bloodfang was supposed to scream, and then he did, and I don't think he was told anything after that. Yeah. Okay, so your mission is complete then. My mission is complete. I should no, go back. I no, no. Footprints, remember? Footprints. And I look around for him and try to look at You them find them. Yeah, we're in the same like spot, so it yeah. shouldn't be too hard. And I'm like, we're going to follow them. Uh, we're going to follow the little ones, because those are probably for the kids. Yes. Uh, so, Blood or Vang, it are could you, be a particularly tiny man. It could be a particularly tiny man. You're entirely right. Do not patronize. I'm me. not. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying you're correct. Do not. <laughs> I love playing Omaris. It's so different, but he's just so blunt about everything. Okay. Uh, I think I need to start dumping charisma more often. <laughs> so okay. So I follow them. Okay. Are you following two wives? Yes. Who's leading? Not me. Would oh, it be me? Also. I think it would be me, wouldn't it? Well, here's the, definitely yeah, lead. here's the thing. Ovaris can't lead. He has no idea why he's here. That's true. Yeah. Well, I point them out to you. They are footprints. Yeah, we're following them to find where they go. Because this is where it seems like where the people are going. And the kids that we have to protect. Remember them? I could still go back to our friend. You baby. can. You'd be leading these children to fend for themselves. Or cunning as a politician. I've been told. I will assist. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's this is just like on your back? Your guys' is real person on the funhouse mirror. It's pretty much just yeah. dragging him all the way out here without telling him really why oh we're out god, here. Oh my god, you do that so often, it pisses me off. I will beg him for the slightest hint of information. I don't know why, I'm so like ornery about but it. But his curiosity gets the better from just yeah. enough to keep going. Yeah. No, because you're like, hey, I need your help with something. Okay, what is it? No, no, just come here. Okay, what do you need? No, no, just, just come over here. I need your help. If I tell you before you're standing right in front of what I need you to do, you will say no. <laughs> well, I'm saying no now because I don't get information. <laughs> so either way, you're not getting me. Anyways. Anyways. We follow you follow <laughs> Ovaris begrudgingly. You don't go very far before uh, the, the path starts to do a lot of U's, a lot of S's, mm-hmm. a lot of... It's, it's not a very... Uh, Good path. No, it's definitely a path that was kind of worn in recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not really... Almost like doing a lot of this. Almost, almost like, like they're taking a different path? Yes. Uh, so they don't take the same path. George, no. Michaela, you're leading. Roll me survival. Oh. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay. Roll good, please. Ho! 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 18. 18, okay. So, an 18 leads you down a path that ends with two giant white rocks, one almost in the shape of a tooth and the other kind of rounded. Ah, uh, yes. Round tooth pass. <laughs> You've been here? No. Okay. <coughs> I'm not here today. How do you know about round tooth pass? Only in stories. It, it, is, the, it is the site of many a bear mauling. 
There's a there's there's a contest and there's a contest in the town. <laughs> there's a contest in the town to the south of here. Who can slaughter the bear? The winner is rewarded with a cash prize. What's it's cash? Quite, it is quite a it is quite a fun event. I love Johnny Cash. I say fully in character. I believe you mean James Gold. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Gold. Jimmy Platinum. <laughs> I like Jimmy Platinum. That's my next bard. <laughs> <laughs> I fell into a ring of fire. So I got hit by a giant ball of fire. I got hit by a giant ball of fire. I thought it was gonna be. I got mauled by the bear at Round Tooth Path. I didn't get the cash prize. <laughs> the big guy got the cash prize. Now, Alvarez, Alvarez would love to participate, but he's on a mission. And he's like, yeah. I can't stop. Yeah. So we come to this big, strange rock formation. Are we doing anything? Yet? Do the do the footprints lead to it, or yeah, like yeah. around it? Come sort of to it and around it. Okay, so they probably have a back entrance. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my eyes off it, and I'm gonna just like follow the path while I'm gonna hold my hand on the rock to sort of like feel around to see if there's anything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where I'm just kind of like walking and rubbing. find a secret switch, like a strange Something like that. There are no secret switches. Cool. Like, cool. Just, uh, what's the texture of the rock like? Smooth but rough. Okay, cool. Well, that makes no sense <laughs> at all, but so thank it's like, you. It's like those smooth rocks you pick up. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, actually, no, that doesn't make sense. It looks smooth, but it does have granular texture. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you said there's a set of footprints that go around? Yeah, there's actually several. They seem to kind of go all around it, but they don't really go anywhere else. They just kind of all like meet in the front middle. So they just—it doesn't just break like, off anywhere. Well, there's the two rocks. It goes in between, probably then. Or they—they they stop in between. They kind of meet each other. Okay. But there's a couple like dips and gaps. Okay. So they've been—they've been taking kids from all over. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Ovar is actually going to use something that doesn't make sense character-wise, <laughs> but I'm a monk. Um. I'm going to try to sneak. Is there like a cave under this rock formation? At the little point where the big tooth comes and the round tooth meets, there is an opening. How big? Slightly larger than the well. So I'm not getting Maybe you can. Because you could bjorn yourself in the well. <clears throat> if it was just a little bit bigger, bjorn would have been okay. Okay, so you can, you will probably be or able to be just fine. knock it down. <laughs> oh, well, it, what Make it a strength check. No. This might be, this might be the path in, though. You know what I mean? And if you go to knock it down, it might, we might trap people inside. Their oh, shelter well. will be covered there, too. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. Um, is there any way, anything I could feasibly move out of the way to make... Is okay. Is this like a Jesus tomb scenario where there's just something big, heavy in the way? Yeah, the big rocks. I I okay, let it to, so like they're kind of tenting over the hole. That's what I thought. That. That's so we could probably tip one of the big ones over. That might make a lot of noise. Uh, it would make a lot of noise. Ovaris let everyone that, know we're here. Ovaris isn't thinking that far ahead. He's just like the rocks are in the way. Listen, can you try? Hey, to move you, the rocks. No, can you? You think you can fit through that? Um, I'm gonna look at it. I'm just gonna potentially. <laughs> that's like that's like an Ovaris and a quarter, give or take. I am not a unit of measurement. But you could be, is what I'm saying. I could fit through there more than likely. Yes. So what I suggest is you go first. No. You being the smallest of us would have the greatest chance of going through. Yeah. No. Blood things are like yeah, tiny man. <laughs> you shall enter, then Bloodfang shall enter, and then I shall enter. But here's why I disagree with that plan. If you get stuck, we're stuck inside. So, therefore, the total, you should go your, first. Your combined effort would be because more than enough you, to dislodge me. If you get stuck, then we're still outside and we can help you get free. Right? You right? Could also right? Help, got a point. You could also help me <laughs> get free from inside. But it would be harder because what if there's like a bear in there? You said it yourself. Then, what if this then is I will fight the bear. But if we're in your <laughs> So if you're first, then you can fight the bear. It's a win-win. I, love this. I would fight the bear whether or not you would be in my way. But, uh, the bear will die regardless of who is in the way. I, 
How, we will have Why is we will the have the, killed? We will have the numbers advantage if you enter first. But if... Uh, okay, I see what you mean. Tactically, this is the best plan. I can't argue with the captain. No, I think you found out what it takes to be his friend. <laughs> if I do this, you owe me a drink, right? I say as I slowly point at him and walk into the hole. I grab his wrist so he can't move. <laughs> If you do this, I will think about what your friendship and mine truly is. Nothing more and nothing less. I do not owe you anything. Let's go of the hand. Did you hear that? <laughs> he said, <laughs> he he said we're friends. <laughs> you just, you wow. turn back and he's just glaring at you with his one eye. He does that with his friends. And then I walk in <laughs> eye contact with you the whole time now. <laughs> Who's going in first? I'm going in first. Okie dokie. And then I just, as he's crawling through, I look to Bloodfang. And I just point to the hole. <laughs> in. I mean, yeah. Reluctantly so. Can I have my flail out? That's an I like how Yeah, I'm gonna draw my rapier. I like how it's like, you're like, no, but if you go first, you get to find, like, but if you go first, there's two of us. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is going to be dope. You guys have entered. You. Yes. Dex check. Saving throw or just check? Saving throw. Um, 23. Yeah, you make it fine. Yeah, uh, monks have proficiency in saves. That's why they ask. So, so Ovaris, you guys are like, oh man, that was, that was a tight fit, and Ovaris just... <laughs> I am here. I have made it. Okay. So, because I don't need the D12, I'll represent myself with the D12. Okay. If that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. If you guys have other die, I use a D4, one of my own. That's a D6. That's what I said. And you can't prove it always. Don't listen to the photo guy, anything you want to put on it. To represent, to represent you. Because we don't have different to color, preferably. Yeah. Okay. So, who's you? And you, and me. Okay, so, we've all made it in. Yes. It's a very dark, dreary cavern. I do Definitely man made. I don't have dark vision. So I, the I big do. guy. I do. You guys both do. Mm-hmm. I'm the okay. only one who can. So you're gonna have to guide the man. That's okay. We're in front of him. I mean, okay. if I find a stick, I can just make a torch. Yeah. What are we doing in here? I'm just here because yeah, he squeezed me into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for any sort of path or idea. It's man-made, so I'm looking for basically. I'm just following it, really. Okay. So looking for any offshoots, maybe. You guys follow it to. Where here. are the children? And that one adult. Sorry, there are no footprints in here. Oh, it's rock. Yeah. So. What that? What? You find an offshoot here? Hmm. Well, there's a one there, but then is that another one up there? And there's a small one here. Yikes. What are you guys doing? Well, Lavaris can't see. So he's just going to, he's going to grab you by the shoulder yeah. and just. I am unable to see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reach back. I'm gonna touch on the left side. Say, big, bigger cave here. Right side, shorter cave this way. We shall investigate the larger cave. Good, good call. Okay, let me go that way. <laughs> you have to be my eyes. <laughs> so you guys come this way, mm-hmm. and you end up here. What is here? Do I see anything? Let me zoom in a little bit. I don't know if you see anything or not. It's supposed to. Uh, it does dip down some here. We have stairs, that's fine. And it comes out. I don't know, I wouldn't say comes out, really. You're almost like going into a parallel path that leads to a dead end. Dead end. This will be useful later. Is there anything. Any sort of tell that maybe this isn't a fully dead end? Or like any debris, anything? Anything that shows that people are here recently? Me. Me. A perception check. Or investigation, whichever is better. Uh, 16 on the die. Perception would be 19. Investigation is 17. 
So oh, perception. So perception of 19. Uh, there is a small uh, crack of light right here. Can I see that? Yes. That's probably the only thing you could see. Alvaris sees this crack of light and just... You want to look through that? I'm able to. Yeah, I'm doing all the seeing, so it's pull your own weight, buddy. If you are the one doing the seeing, you should be the one doing the looking. Bloodfang, settle the debt. He just pushes you aside and looks through the hole. Okay. Perception? Yes, sir. Boink! <laughs> Natural 20. Oh! oh wow. First crit of the campaign! The eyes see all. The eye sees all. So, you see on the other end, cots, barrels, uh, sleeping bags. Is there anyone on these cots? No. No one at all? No one at all. It is a living quarters. There are sleeping bags. How many? What you can see? Five? Five. Wait. I'm able to see five of them. Yes, five. Big, small? Adult size, child size? They would fit you. Okay, I am an adult. There are also what appear to be barrels. Potential food storage. Okay, so... This is proof beyond all shadow of a doubt that this is some sort of hideout. Okay. This this dead end must be important. But why? Okay, I'm going to... Let's back out, see if we can make our way over here. Agree. I'm back out. You're going to back out. So you guys go all the way back to here where you took this offshoot, mm-hmm. and you are back at the crossroads. Main one or little one? I have decided last time, and I led us to mostly a dead end. Yeah, This sure. time, blood fact will decide. I want to try to get the smaller one. Cool. Okay, you will, you proficient. <coughs> you squeeze through. Immediately. However, this cave system seems to be... This cave system does not naturally support branching tunnels. These seem to have been man-made offshoots, I can tell by their undesirable quality. Make me a perception check. Also natural sixteen don't do this. <laughs> there is three boxes. Do we each want to pick one? There are boxes, by the way. Um Sam. I'm just ask this. Because there's no good way to phrase it. Do I know what Mimic is? Because <laughs> if not, I'm, I'm willing to roll history. Roll history. Acid 2. <laughs> 3 with my mod. You know, the worst part is, I think before you ask that question, I don't think any of them are Mimics. <laughs> worst part is, yeah. Before, yeah, before I ask, none of them were, and now one of them is. I grabbed the one in the middle. What about you, wife? I'm good. Poke it with my flail. Yeah. He's just gonna. If it sticks, I know. If it busts. Are you gonna, are you gonna just smash it? Not hard, but like a little. Of ours? He's just gonna open up. Mm. Just. Don't make that sound. <clears throat> Sounded like a. It's fine. Sound like a DS game when you can't go through a doorway. I hit the invisible wall. <clears throat> <laughs> Yes. Okay, so, George. Yes. One of them's a mimic. Oh no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> As I open this box, I get a sense of conquest. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what, Sam? I'm gonna flavor that. As I open the box, a memory flashes by my head of me raiding an enemy camp, and I'm opening their, like, large treasury, and it is the spoils of war, and I open up the box, I'm expecting to find treasure, but instead I find... what? Uh... For... Each of you, I need a D100. What? We rarely use these. I can't wait to find out of time. I like to implement them at least once per session. I got... 13. 57. 35. Uh, I heard 55 first. That's just not true. That's, <laughs> That's the only one I remember. <laughs> okay, there you go. 
So, I knocked my die. I out. have a table here. The, the way I do items, unless it is story based, it's just loot tables. It is loot tables. That's fine. Uh, and I have several of the same ones remixed, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Obviously, they're not going to be crazy good yet. Yeah, I mean, it's level three. But. Might be like a healing potion. That'd be cool. Michaela, you said 55? I no, I have 35. 35, that's what I said. Uh, you get a potion of animal friendship. Apt. Because she's a lion. Yeah. What'd you get? 57. 57. Indeed. Cool. I don't know if you're going to know how to use this, but you got a third level spell scroll. I can use it. I may not be able to use it. What is the spell? I'll get back to you on that. We probably have to identify it. Yeah. Right. And I'm then I got a lucky 13. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Lucky. Potion of greater healing. Oh, bro. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, actually. That's what, 2d4? I think it's 44 plus 4. Oh, it is! Wow! So that's like most of your... Sorry, 2d4 is normal. You're right. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Actually, Omar's going to hold up the scroll. You can't read it, it's dark. I can't. Um, you, I'm going to just turn to... You got a scroll there, buddy. He's going to open it up. Don't tear it, don't tear it. They can be pretty fragile sometimes. I haven't seen one since I was a kid. I cannot read. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Can I, he, 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 rolls, he rolls it up and hands it to you. I'm what gonna, does it just say? take it out of his hands. Can I Arcana? Arcana. <laughs> I like how it's like I cannot see. I'm Not one. Read. I have no idea what this is, dude. What languages do you speak? Uh, common Elven Sylvan. Common Elvish Sylvan. And it's I took. Not, it's not even in a language you understand. Yeah, I took. I'm like I, I don't. This means absolutely nothing. Far and uh, you don't even get magic packs coming off it. Wow, really? It is us with a roll. With a nat one? Of God, for all I know, this could be a shopping list. Aloof! <laughs> Aloof! <laughs> anyway, Bloodfang, what are you doing with your potion? I thought just putting it away. I mean, a potion of animal friendship. Can I have the scroll back just to hold I, it? I would like to hold on to it. I'll give you this potion, though. It's, a, it's big. It looks really hefty. I switch it around. But I recognize it. I can't see it. <laughs> it's dark. It's a really good healing potion. It's big. I'm gonna take it. Uh oh. You guys keep. Going. Just still dark and nothing really. Nothing really. Until you get here. Right here. No. Oh. Is it open? It's a little door. You hear voices on the other side. The other side. Mm-hmm. The I'm voices. Go- I'm going to pop like one eye over. <laughs> oh, one eye. <laughs> And you think you go over? You give me a stealth check. Absolutely, I'm good at those. Oh, oh whoa! I am good at those. Yeah. Twenty-one. Not twenty. Nice. No, eighteen. Nice. So, you see in there three robed individuals with their hoods down, speaking. What are they saying? Guys, I think I found the robe, guys. I say very quietly with my twenty-one stealth. Good. Who <laughs> far is? Is he saying quiet? Well, good. Has he given me any indication to be quiet? No. Well, I'm whispering. You're whispering. And I I'm crouched in whispering in a very stealthed punch. What's your it. wisdom? Wisdom is a plus three. So you would know. Okay, right. I just say, do, they, do you think these are the people we're looking for? Well, I, have to, I have to say it loud so that my whole thing. That's fine, that's fine. They match the description, but... Um, the description maybe. of hooded figures. Well, they're not. Well, they have the cloaks. They, their hoods are down. They're casual. Like, is it not formal? I have a way to determine if this information is what we seek. Uh, does it involve you walking through this door? If you want, you are allowed to close your eyes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God! I have an idea. Before you do that, I can I try something. And if it falls, if it falls through, you can happily go through and tear apart anyone you want. Proceed. I walk through the door. Oh God, that okay. was my plan. <laughs> and I go. Um, you know what, guys? I ju- I lost my cloak. I I'm. They're gonna kill me. I can't find my cloak. That's my black plan. cloak. That's your no, master plan. 
I hope you roll good on this. I'm gonna roll deception. Yeah, deception. Uh, that is a 15 plus 8. That is a 23. Okay. And like, who allowed you? I didn't know we were recruiting. Listen, it was a whole rush thing, and my, my cousin, well, he said he found like a good gig, and he, he could get me in on it. I'm, I'm new here. They gave me the cloak last week, and I lost it while I was traveling here. Um, you know, you know, um, you know Raz, right? You know the bear mauling thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Raz, Raz? My cousin Raz. I don't know Raz. Is he not here? No. Oh my god. You guys are doing the kid thing, right? Then, is this a different kid thing? Is there, no, I'm like, is there, how, how big are you, are you guys? He might be like a part of a different branch. Do you guys know if you guys are linked up with anyone else? Because he told me the cave under the rocks. No, it's just the eight of us here. Oh, God. Am I just waiting on the And you know, I, I who, who like, got you in on this? I hate it when I'm asked for a name. <laughs> Anything. Bill. Well, I just took the first part of raspberry. Berry. Berry? <laughs> <laughs> no, Berry, no. Raz, Raz and Berry were friends growing up. Oh, that's funny. And so he, he said that he said that Berry had a good hookup for, for some good, just like a good opportunity. And I'm trying to like get my bearings in this whole like kidnapping thing. So uh, I heard it's a good way to make money. I know, but I mean, like, for the future. You know what I mean? Like, I, you can't really get a good kidnapping job without kidnapping experience. And so, really, I'm here for what the experience. What LinkedIn profile are you yeah. making? I'm a liar, bro. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't... Just, do you have a spare cloak, please? I'm concerned you're not in this for the right purpose. Why are you here? If you... Joined us, you know what we're about. Yeah, I know, but now I gotta make sure you're in it for the right purpose, or else Raz is gonna kill me. Dang, the role reversal. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. Can I get an insight check just to see what he holds dear? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Murder. Um, that's not. Uh, it's not great. It's sixteen. I forgot I had a plus four. Hey. Just anything, any sort of just stray glances, anything he might be looking at. They are looking at each other as if. You are missing the blatant purpose. Yeah. But you have everything else. Just, yeah, I listen, I just, it's been a long couple weeks. I slept through orientation. I lost my <laughs> luggage. I, I got robbed a couple miles back, and they only let me off with what I had on me. They took my wagon, they took my cloak. I thought you said you lost it. But I lost it in the robbery, obviously. Oh. Keep up. Oh. Did you just hell Vance? <laughs> yes, we <laughs> did. That is the... I was listening. I didn't want to tell you I got robbed because that's embarrassing, right? Nobody wants to be a kidnapper who gets robbed. We're going to insight you once before we move forward. Please do it. Don't. No, I, I thought it was a 20. Okay. It was a 10. Okay. <laughs> I got so worried when you, like, hooked your neck over. I was like, there's no way. Okay. He, he kind of reluctantly opens the chest, gives you a cloak. <laughs> Thank you. And I put it on. If you come out this door, yeah. you are getting clocked. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, we should have set up a code word or something. Yeah, that's... Like, I, 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 imagine, I'd imagine, <laughs> I'd imagine that, like, Ovaris is just standing out of the door, just arms crossed, just... He didn't say anything other than, watch this. Um, and there are three of them in this room, correct? Yes. Okay. Four, technically. Four counting me, in yes. Our, in Ovaris' eyes, there's four. <laughs> oh, God. So... He tells you uh, if you're really going to be here with or without this Raz individual that they've never heard of, yeah. uh, you're going to lead the mission tonight as we're going to take another. Absolutely. Do we have, like, any... Which, which kit? We don't know yet. Depends on which one responds. Okay. All right. That's fair. Um, do you know uh, what, like, is there... Are we doing a different call sign tonight? Cause, cause Raz told me that we were we were waiting for an owl, right? So if are we doing an owl? Cause that's what I was told, and I want to know if things changed. Not an owl. Not an owl. What, what are we looking for? 
Because uh, it's different from like when, when Raz had me like test it out. You know? I didn't know we had other branches. Well, that's the thing. We're trying to keep it on the down low because, and I'm sorry, because now you guys are kind of complicit, right? Because if you guys now know that there are different branches and then you get like, inter- like say someone like breaks into the cave, right? And starts interrogating you. Now you know there's different branches. That makes you a bigger target. And I'm really sorry, but you've, I've really been put on the spot this week. You shouldn't talk so much. It's fine. I know. It's just I. It's a nervous thing, and I just I really I was so set on fitting in, and I was like, you know, I want some like new guys to just hang out with. I was with. bullied when I was younger. I was bullied when I was younger. Listen, I got a whole mom thing. It's it's a whole thing, right? And I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be one of the guys. But now now I'm just I'm just I'm so frazzled that I just don't even know what to do with myself. So thank you for the cloak. Thank you so much. We'll talk in a couple hours. Okay. Okay. Get your bearings. Do, is it where am I sleeping? Just throw a cot down. Throw a cot down. Thing. Okay. Do I? Do you have one again? The robbery. I suppose. Bundle your robe and to sleep. And he on. gives you the last spare bedroll that they have. Can, um, if you walk out of that room dressed like a cultist, you're getting clocked. I know. Uh. You haven't put on the cloak yet, have you? I have. Um, baby, can you? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Can he make a wisdom save for me? Are you gonna use friends? No, I don't have friends. The 19 on the die. Oh, okay, he knows I tried to charm him then. <laughs> but I'm going to, I'm gonna cast a spell slot to, uh, actually, I'm gonna do a second level spell slot. Can one of the other ones make a save as well? Okay, so I've got that guy. I've got him down pat. Are you using charm person? Um, oh wait, actually, hold on. Okay, you attempt to charm a humanoid you see within range. It must make a wisdom save. It does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it. If it fails, it is charmed by you until the spell ends for one hour, or if we do anything harmful to it. Uh, the creature charmed regards you as a friendly acquaintance. When the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. It doesn't actually say if he succeeds, he knows. But so the one who failed will know in an hour. If he's alive. If he's alive. Got it. So, so well, some specify that you do. If it doesn't specify you do, then I'm going to say he doesn't know. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So I'm going to say, listen, can you just run me through, and having charmed this guy now, having, can you just run me through the whole step-by-step step of the night again one more time? Rest of the cave. We're gonna come out the other side. We're gonna go through the building, right into the town, and we're gonna take the first kid we see that responds properly. What's what would be a proper response? Falling for it. Falling <laughs> for it. By it, you mean the? Because this this sounds completely different from what I was briefed on. And he kind of like waves his hand, and you actually see like this little light blue bunny kind of hop. Oh. And it kind of hops right out the door. Mm. Do I see this money? You do. <laughs> baby, baby, I have a big choice to make. <laughs> a Can light I... blue bunny has just hopped in front of me. Can I insight check oh, this no. bunny to yes. see what it is? And let... I want to see if this is the code that I'm supposed to be waiting for. Insight check. You're 17 on the die. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank God. Oh, that is a 22. <laughs> oh, my this God. This probably has nothing to do with I it. I thought that was just a 2. That's why I had to look. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so, I, you, I, like... so I look at it, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's not this. Uh, well, I dropped that, but I'm keeping yeah. it. Uh, my, what? This is working way better than I thought it would. But this is exactly what I wanted out of what this am I? What am I rolling to see what it is? Insight. You're, You're seeing if this is, has something to do with the, with a some type of signal to rush in and save the day. 16? It's probably not, but, you know. Well, Varus oh, knows, buddy. like, this isn't it. It would be more prison. It would, it would be more. It would be more. So what are you doing? 
follow up. I, I'm like, okay, so the buddy thing, Barry mentioned that. This is why, this is what, the owl. Mm -hmm. We did an owl. We did a bright pink owl. Why? Because, like, I don't know, we did like a study, like a qualitative study, and it turns out that bunnies are actually kind of like, what year is it? Like, I don't know, make something up. 1463. 1463? Bunnies were more of like a 1405 thing. Like, and like, I, and I understand why, because we did our research beforehand with like older people. Um, but like, kids nowadays are really into owls. So, I don't know, they just figured that the owl thing was going to be a more appeal to the youth. I don't know. We've had nothing but success with bunnies. Well, yeah, bunnies are still good, but owls, I heard, were better. I don't, I didn't do the study, man. I just listen. I'm a good listener. You're new. Yes. And you're going to do the bunny. Okay, all right. No, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. I Listen, I, again, I'm frazzled. I was robbed at knife point. It was this huge guy in, like, this weird cat thing. It was a whole thing. Whoa, um, whoa, I'm just whoa. worried. So we're getting thrown under the bus. Oh, God, I'm just whoa. so worried. <sighs> so you said there are eight of you. Yeah. We worked We worked in a group of ten last time. Is that going to be a problem? No. Okay. Because... I don't know. It's eight seems kind of low. Are you guys still like recruiting? No. Oh, your news just. Me. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll talk to Raz about it when he shows up. That's weird that you guys haven't met. No, it's a pretty tight knit group. So so Barry Barry's in charge here, or Barry was just your link. No, Barry's in charge of the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I don't know. Raz made him out to be like more of a little guy. He said that someone else was like kind of working his way up. Oh, well, maybe you're on the out. That's okay. I'm kind of on the out, too. Apparently. As, as we all know, I should have lost my cloak. Uh -huh. um, so, these kids. Yeah. Why kids? I mean, like, in this scenario. Obviously, I know why kids in general. But, like, why, why these kids in this town? Just because they're easy picks? Well, would you rather work smart or work hard? Well, I mean, I don't know. Again, again, and this is this might just be Raz, he's kind of weird, right? But he said that sometimes we take adults, but only really, I think, when they get in the way, right? Yeah. We've got one. Oh, God, really? That almost never happened. I know, she came looking. Is she okay? Because sometimes you can ransom adults back for even more than kids, because they're the like valued members of society. That's the idea, but okay. we haven't worn this town down enough yet. We're just waiting. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. So what, we're taking the whole town long term? The kids. Just the kids? Because, I mean, once we have all the kids, we can probably barter up for the adults, right? That's not the point. I know it's not the point, but I'm saying, like, if we really want to make this work long term... You're in the wrong game, friend. No, you are. And I take out my sword and I stab him. <laughs> and I scream, guys, help me! <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Yes. <laughs> hey, Sam. I know what my, uh, I know what my first action is going to be. What? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, you! <laughs> you could have let me do that! I like, how you, I like how you're like, man, my character's not really built for combat. <laughs> you do no, that. I'm just gonna stab him! Well, now I know that there are eight of them. I know exactly how many there are. I know that the kids and the adults okay. Can I just... You have Arch. several weeks to decide, because we're gonna stop right there. Perfect! <laughs> I can't stand you. Uh, you did all that work just to stand I could tell it was going nowhere. He wasn't going to tell me anything else.